This is awesome. I have to do is a my Vita. Yeah, um, hey, Borrego, welcome. I was just talking about you. Borrego in the chat's the one that sent me the, uh, tutorials on YouTube on, on how to, uh, how to do this, and from there I just went down the rabbit hole. It's kind of weird, though, because to reload, this has a lot of touch-specific controls, so, like, I have to keep looking down the reload, because I actually have a copy of the display on my screen, so I can look up at the TV, but I have to actually touch parts of the screen. We're gonna do new game. Actually, no, 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 I have to do chapters. Because I've already beaten this game, and what we want to do is crushing difficulty, which I have not done yet. So, we'll go to chapter... How many chapters are there? This, Mind you, this is a full-size Uncharted game. Like, it's console quality. 34 chapters. Alright, back to chapter one. Crushing? Uh, how do I pick it? I gotta tap it. Okay, <laughs> we're good to go. This is going to be cool. Dodge, welcome. After fighting Guardian Ape, will you still play Diddy's Adventure? I have to let my rage against Ape subside. <laughs> I have to let it subside. I totally forgot about Killzone. Yeah, definitely true display power. Yeah, Killzone is almost PS3 quality. It really is. Which I'm excited because I can stream it now. I can show you in reality, Friar Marcos has not told the truth in a single thing he has said. Are they the day? Yeah, they are the days gone, guys. Yep. Dante. They did some Vita I ports. I got a report that shots were fired by the river. It was nothing. I'm telling you, it was Drake. You tell your men to up their game, or there's gonna be a lot less of them around come payday. This is the first chronologically, right? Yeah, this takes place sometime before the first Uncharted. So all the characters are new, other than Drake. I think Sully's in here too. I'm not. I don't remember. Um, game audio. Was the game audio okay there? Yep, that's definitely Vita graphics, yeah. Uh, okay. Feels good, though. It feels just like the other Uncharted games. When we get situated here to get comfortable. Then we'll begin our uh, journey into Panama, I believe. Uh, he is... Sounds great so far. Okay. Game audio is great. Alright, yeah, let me know when the shooting starts, because... I don't want it too loud either. God, it's so cool that I could essentially play this on my TV now without uh, having to buy the, like a freaking $300 PlayStation TV. Oh, which by the way, this game is not even done. compatible for it. Because even if you jailbreak it, um, I mean, you can make it work. But a lot of the touchscreen controls, I, I've seen YouTube videos of people that make the touchscreen controls work with like a, a PlayStation DualShock. And it's just, it's weird. It's just wonky. Because it tries to emulate all the controls on the touchpad. And it, it wasn't really designed for it. I'll show you guys once we get to the puzzles. There's some weird ones like that involve you having to like put up your PS, uh, your Vita up to like a light source and stuff. It's weird. Just started the campaign for Call of Duty Ghost and it's totally awesome. I liked Ghost campaign. What I didn't like was the fact that it ended on a cliffhanger and they never um, tied up the story. They, they just kind of abandoned it. God, it feels good streaming an Uncharted. I've been wanting to stream an Uncharted game forever. But I hadn't because I wanted to start chronologically. So I was trying to like save up money for a PlayStation TV to stream this. And now I don't need it. Are you going to push hard on Secure to beat it this week? I don't know. I, I try to push as hard as I can every Friday. So I have no idea. Um, I already have a plan for uh, Bloodstained. If if I don't beat it, which I, I doubt I'll beat it by the time Bloodstained comes out. Um, if I don't, the Friday Bloodstained comes out, I'm, I'm going to stream uh, Bloodstained. And then I'll move Sekiro to the next um, the next date. All of it all. You guys will see it. I have it all planned out. Drake's been spotted in the upper chamber. Rogue Dragon, welcome. Kill him on sight. Dante's orders. I remember seeing footage for this when they started showing the Vita off. I thought it was the future of handheld gaming. Uh, it could have been. Here's the problem. The problem is Sony doesn't even support their own console. Oh, wait. Hold on. I gotta touch the screen. There. So, so Sony's notorious for doing that. They have... I've heard... I'm not a big into JRPGs, but I have heard that the Vita is like a, a JRPG machine. Like, it's like the holy grail of JRPGs. 
like I said, yeah, I, I don't usually get into those kind of games. Alright, let me know how the audio is when I start shooting. Here, let's start shooting. Does that sound alright? Oh, shit. Hey, wait a minute, wait, wait. I'm a little rusty here. Oh, I forgot this is on crushing also. How do I melee? Oh, it's touch based. <laughs> I gotta touch the gun in the corner to reload. Like, I, I wish I could just press square or something. It'll be a well deserved break from Sekiro. It's a great game, but it can stress you out. Yeah, I love Sekiro, but. Um, I don't mind keep streaming every Friday, but it, yeah, Bloodstained Curse of the Moon 2 comes out on a Friday. I definitely want to stream it that day. Because I'm, I'm really excited, but. Like I said, I, I made room for it. Come here, bitch. Give me the headshot. Nope, nope. I, I can't try to pull off headshots on crushing mode. The enemies, like, they light you up, and you get screwed over in a second. Fuck. God, are they gonna flank me? Oh, threw a grenade! Yeah, but not another game collector. Let me know if you want me to send you those links, because, um... Or anyone else that wants to do this with their Vita, um, even just play it on TV or stream it. It's actually not bad. It, it took me all night to figure out, because a lot of YouTube videos I, I watched on YouTube, it just didn't work. But I, I found one that I followed everything, and it just it ended up working. It, it really... You don't even need any equipment. It really just um, revolves around plugging in your... Oh, shit. It really just revolves around you plugging in your Vita to your PC downloading a bunch of files and moving them around in the folders to install homebrew software. It's really what it comes down to. So it isn't all that hard. You just gotta make sure you download the right stuff and put them in the right folders and name them properly and such, and then you can do this. There's still one guy left. I know he's a... Oh, fuck. Hold on. Where is his ass? There he is. Yes! Headshot. The guy. I wonder what resolution this is running at. Because, like... I, I think with the Vita, I think most games were technically... I think it was 544p. They just look really good on the screen because it's an OLED. I have the launch console, by the way, that has the OLED screen. It looks beautiful. Got a beautiful screen. Have you played through Bloodstained Zangetsu yet? No, I haven't. I, I haven't touched uh, Ritual of the Night since um, <laughs> since I beat it. I gotta get back into it. I think you can beat Sekiro in three or maybe two if you don't find any more BS. Yeah, that's what I've been told about two or three more streams. I have a ton of games for the Vita, but not enough memory for all of them. I had to remove... Um, I have a Gravity Rush. I had to remove it to do the uh, jailbreak because I didn't have enough memory. Um, I removed it because I have Gravity Rush remastered on PS4 anyway. Well, though, man, thank you for the two bucks, man. Thanks for the super chat. Uncharted, the only game all about self-defense. Exactly. Exactly. They open up fire on me first. When this takes place, this is before Uncharted 1. Um, it's not directly linked to the events of the first game, but it does take place before it, so I guess you can call it the prequel. My first Uncharted game was 4, because it's also my first PS4 game that came with the console. I love 4. Are PS TV expensive in U.S.? They're only like 50 here. Yeah, see, the problem is, Dudge, uh, you can't find it in the U.S. I saw GameStop has them on their website on clearance for like 30 bucks, but they don't have any available. Um, they stopped manufacturing them, so you can't find them anywhere. The only place you can find them is online, like on eBay or Amazon, and people are trying to sell it for like two or 300 bucks. When it was originally like, what, 50 bucks? So it's, it's a complete ripoff. I, I just, I can never justify that. I want like, I want like the audio cable you're using. I'm just using a regular aux cable, like for headphone jacks. Going to the PC. If you do that, you want to make sure you buy like a uh, static filter for um. They're like a dollar or two at like a Radio Shack. It's just a little box that filters out the hum. Because if you plug in a a headphone jack to your um, PC. 
and you're using USB for charging, you're gonna get a hum. Um, you guys don't hear it on your end because I have a filter on it. But yeah, it's easy once you get all that stuff. It's plug and play. I, need backup. I forgot how relentless these enemies are on crushing mode. Oh, he's dead. Okay. Send the link on Twitter for the hack. Yeah, I'll send it to you tonight. Um, if you want, send me a message reminding me because I'll, I'll I'll forget. I'm bad at remembering things. Do you know Nathan Drake was voiced by Nolan North? Oh, oh, of course. Yeah, he he voiced like every single character in every single game back then. <laughs> like you couldn't find a game without Nolan North in that game. Wait, wait. I wish I had a grenade. See, on crushing mode, the blind fire doesn't even help that much because it's so inaccurate. I played Gravity Rush in 2 due to low sales. There's not going to be a third game. Yeah, it's... I barely started 1. That's why I never downloaded 2. I haven't even started 1. Um, I'll stream it sometime to clear it out of my backlog, but... um. Yeah, I, I, Sony made an original series, which I like. I like when they do original exclusives, but um, yeah, that, that that game didn't really take off. My problem with Fabian's self-defense in AC1 was that he could have used his fists instead of self-defense. Oh, instead of his blades? No, 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 no. Here's the thing, though. You're wrong. Because I was trying to use my fist, but as you know... The, the assassins, um, their blades are, are in the same region. So I was accidentally... I if anything, man. it's manslaughter. See, Accidental. Like Equal self-defense. Oh, shit. Oh, that was supposed to happen. Two weeks earlier. You just saw through the wall. You gotta take advantage of the glitches, man. You gotta take advantage. Kind of hope that Forge, the last Uncharted game, they ended up perfectly. Yeah, they did for the story, but I want more Uncharted. Oh, like these games are so much fun. I love them. Damn yeah, muddy roads. Just got these clean. Those are fancy. Yeah. Uh, sell men's shoes where you got those? Oh, very funny. Mr. Nathan Drake, always good for a laugh. <laughs> hey, look at these. Sea turtle. You know how much they sent me back? Voice Come actor on. I know from every form of media. Steve, Steve Blum is another one. Yeah. So now you've joined Greenpeace all of a sudden. It's just I don't go around wearing endangered species on my feet. Yeah, well, they cost me a lot. More dough than you make in a year. Oh, yeah? Which year? I've had a couple good ones. Oh, really? Okay, one. Yeah. I like this dude in the game. Hey, Einstein. What? You do know this says keep up. Oh, you can read Spanish? Yeah, I know that. We got special permission. <laughs> oh, Crushing so mode wasn't special. all that fun for me in most Uncharted games, but it's nothing to new Brutal here, mode. I Yeah, secret. I'd like to try Brutal mode, but it's not available uh, at the beginning, right? You have to unlock it. Behind the Taj Mahal. Naked. Well, it don't get any more scenic than that, does it? <laughs> I almost beat Ninja Gaiden yesterday for the first time. I died on the final boss. Uh, what difficulty, Judge? Because, um, yeah, I know Ninja Gaiden has like a million different difficulty levels. They're brutal, too. Chapter 1, you ain't seen nothing yet. By the way, how, how does the game, uh, how do the graphics look quality-wise on stream? Like, does it look pretty good? Or does it look like super blurry and blown up? Because I, I can't really judge on my end because I have it blown up on my screen, but it's just a copy of, um, you know, of what, what my second screen is seeing. Are you keeping up or what? What's the hurry? There's no hurry. I'm curious about how well the Vita transmits through a live stream. Went through a playthrough in AC2 where I only killed people by disarming them and using their own weapon against them. That's funny. So you didn't kill them, their own weapons did, is what you're arguing. How would you describe Uncharted to those who haven't heard of it? Um, I would say it's like Tomb Raider, but Tomb Raider is basically an Indiana Jones, so... It's Indiana Jones and Tomb Raider mixed. It's what it is. Indiana Jones <laughs> with some humor and the gameplay of Tomb Raider. Which, oddly enough, the new Tomb Raider style is very Uncharted-like, so they kind of flip-flopped. Well, Where's this pl take place in the timeline, yeah. Samuel? This is a uh, prequel. Cool. <laughs> it's before one. Remember what Sully used to say: "Necessity breeds invention." Oh, trust me, you don't want to hear Sully talk about inventive breeding. You're quite the father figure. 
graphics look good to me. It looks pretty good. Look better than I thought they would. Stream is running 1080p, 60 FPS. Awesome. Yeah, so it cleans it up a little bit. But I think the game natively, I I could be wrong about this. I think natively most Vita games run it. I think it was four, 544p, I believe. Uh, it just looks really good on the on the Vita screen. Looks fuzzy but watchable. Is this a good game so far? This was before Naughty Dog committed suicide. Well, this wasn't even Naughty Dog. Ben Studio made this. They uh they they licensed this one out while they were working on whatever they were doing at the time. It plays just like a it plays as good, just as good as Naughty What's Dog Uncharted. Life? I'm no expert, but I'd say it's been cut. It's a bit shorter too, of course, because they handheld. But son of a bitch! Wait, what did you say, Guerrero? When's the raid promotion gonna start? Um, I have not had Raid Shadow Legends reach out to me. Oh, you've heard of him. So. and Caracas have heard of him. Dante, please tell me we are not in General Loco's backyard. Yeah, he ain't a goddamn general no more, right? The revolutionaries lost the war, remember? And besides, now he's just another pain in my ass. Oh yeah, ass. I think the bad guy's some Spanish general in this one. Don't worry. Guerra don't go where I'm taking you. Okay. So now you're a rock climber. This I gotta see. Just don't stare at my ass and try to keep up. Graphics kind of look like shit, but then again, I'm not used to the way the Vita display output. Well, the Vita's not even doesn't even technically uh, display graphics out. This is jailbroken, so it's forcing the video through the USB. Uh, otherwise, there's not really a way to. That is currently the only way to do this. There's no emulator either, which a, a PS Vita emulator would be awesome. Because, you know, emulators always use the PC, like, to push the graphics further. So they'd be able to push, like, 4K internal resolutions and clean up the textures. I, I can't wait. Whoa. It's only a matter of time before someone that develops that. Outstanding. This why I'm here? Corey Kazi just subscribed. Welcome. Come on. Wasn't one the one where Nathan found an old abandoned World War II German base? Yeah, uh, it was an abandoned submarine from World War II. That was one. You go inside and there's like Nazi skeletons. Feel how worn these handholds How many are? chapters will you plan on doing for stream? I don't know. Years old. I think. Four. They feel like the ones at Mesa Verde. Under Remember? normal circumstances, this so is easily scared. a four-hour, four-hour-ish game. Since I'm playing on crushing, it might take another stream. So it, it'll probably be a two-streamer, three at most. Um, I, I highly doubt it'll take more than down. three, unless I just hey, keep I dying over and over and over. This, but remember? Yeah, sure. Whatever you say. These Uncharted games aren't overly difficult on crushing. I mean, they they have some sections. They they all have their sections, but <laughs> where's the Raid Shadow Legends timeline? I wonder if you could even do it. Does, does Raid even have a storyline? I don't even know. Actually, you know what? You know what's funny? Raid, uh, they did reach out to me once. It was about two months ago. I think like a month and a half ago. Um, I emailed them back asking them for more details on like what they're looking for. Um, and then they, they just ended up... They reached out to me, mind you. And then they ghosted me, so... This I apologize, guys. No Raid ads on this channel. <laughs> Keep your pants on, will you? I'm getting to it. All right. You see our squad little friends here? Shit like this is scattered everywhere up on this ridge. Yeah, they said they were big fans of my channel, so they wanted to reach out to me. Um, which, I mean, I'm sure they haven't even watched the video. They just look up the numbers and reach out to, like, mass creators. They just mass reach out to different creators. I c oh, see, this is a touchscreen puzzle. Drag your finger across the screen to do the rubbing. Easy blisters. You don't have to rub the whole thing, you know. Wait. Oh, wait a minute. I've right, already done this. Try this guy. Oh, that's weird. So if you did it on another playthrough, it already counts it. I guess. This is the this is the first time I've done a second playthrough. Normally, you have to rub your screen across to do like a charcoal rubbing. Let me see. Yeah, puzzle completed. <laughs> it's like, I guess I don't have to do the puzzles anymore. Alright, well, you guys see the puzzle there. Let's try those. Any chance you do kill zone? For sure. I'm going to do kill zone. Cro like, with, whenever I stream, I usually, when it's series with multiple um, sequels, I do them chronologically. So the first one will be um, kill zone HD. Careful. I hate this. 
You still afraid of heights? Now I want to play this. Uh, do you have this game no. now, another game collector? No. I assume you would have it. You love the Vita. Falling to death. Yeah. Oh, I thought this was a cutscene. It has lore pretty generic and boring. I mean, it's a mobile game. I, I imagine it's not. You want me to bury you in those I don't. Shoes? I've never played Raid. I, I don't even know what it's about. As long as you get I, I just, I just see all the uh, <laughs> YouTube ads. No dying on me. Which I, I don't knock creators no, for doing ads, you. you know, like Raid ads. Shit, I'll, I do it too. No business is business, you know. Before, but right? um, I don't know. I, I, I don't. I can't really. I don't know if I could really get into a mobile game, like to the to the point of a console game. What's with people ghosting people when an offer is made? I, I have no idea. They just kind of reached out to me. And were like, hey, we're big fans of your channel. Um, we're Raid Shadow Legends. We'd like to work with you. And I was like, okay, well, what do you have in mind? Like, I, I was more asking questions at the time. And then, I don't know. <laughs> I just never heard anything back. It's like I need one more. And I was like, okay. So that's no, that. Too get excited. It's funny because if you guys saw Ooh, my... um, jealous? Oh, piece together all four rubbings. Oh, see, now I... See, I'm moving that around my finger. Um, you guys saw my video. My Resident Evil video was sponsored by um, World of Tanks, which they reached out to me, and I've heard of World of Tanks. Um, it was funny, because I, I downloaded the game, and mind you, this is not a paid sponsorship on this video. This is actually me talking. <laughs> but I actually... Um, I've never been interested in that game or knew what it was, but I actually downloaded it that Saturday. I played it all day long. Like, it, it, it's actually fun, and if you've been watching these streams on the channel, you guys know I love customizing shit. That game has so much customization when it comes to the tanks. I played it all day long just so I can just so I can keep upgrading my tank and paint it a different color. Uh, it, it actually is a lot of fun, though. I, I really enjoyed it. So I, I'm glad they reached out to me, because it's definitely a game I, I'll go back to. Um, I don't know if I'd ever stream it though. I don't. I don't. I don't think it's one of those games that's fun to watch. It's one of those games that's fun to play, but you know, it's not really it's a fun game to watch on YouTube. You know. What do you think it is? Well, it's not Mayan or Aztec. Yeah. I'd say Muisca, but they never migrated north of Colombia. Can't help but think how much better this game would be had it been a well, full PS3 be, game. Yeah. I think Kuna? what, and this is just me talking. I think why they didn't remake it. Or remaster it was because of the puzzles, because it it would because yeah I think when they remaster games usually they just it's like a quick thing they do and make like a double dip on it whoa, to make whoa. some quick cash. But this Watch game has a lot of touch screen aspects little, and they would have to translate that to a controller. They, I learn that? I can imagine they didn't think the benefit or they didn't think the effort was worth it. I was their troop leader. Portable Ops is so good. I didn't like Portable Ops. For me, that game was kind of I like the story. <laughs> But gameplay-wise, that game kind of... Oh, shit, wait. Oh, this is all, like, gyro sensors. What, um, King of the Jungle? It's a rope. Portable it's Ops felt like a chore to finish. I, I liked um, Peace Walker way better. Oh, shit. Oh, I thought I was going to fall. I finally moved into a new house with my parents. Oh, <laughs> I read that as I finally moved into a house with new parents. Congrats, man. Raid Shadow Legends is on PC. Is it on PC? Well, no. They have a they have a mobile game, too, though. Because that's what they were asking me about. I what? It's got a PC port? All I don't know. I don't play it. There are tons of games like that. Highly addictive. Yeah. But it was funny because World of Tanks, like... See what I tell you. Shit like this is I didn't know it had console versions too Most when I started digging into touched. it. Yeah. So I might actually download it's it like on PS4 Guerrero too. To keep it that way. God damn it, I told you he ain't a general no more. Now come on. Talking about customization makes one other armored core. You know I've never played armored core. I've always wanted to, I just never got around to it. Customization is like crack, right? It absolutely is. The touchpad could work. Yeah, on PS4 they could definitely do it, but on PS3 I'm saying, like, if they did on PS... Because think about it, this game came out in 2011, so if they remastered it, it probably would have been PS3. There's something there. Can you reach it? And now on PS4, maybe they just don't think it's worth it, you know? I don't know. I want it still. 
Am I gonna? F I don't want to fall if I accident. Oh, never mind. I oh, it's a treasure. Oh yeah, these are the treasures in this game. I think these glyphs that you find. Hey, hey everything you find up here is mine. AC3 Liberation uses all the same tricks than this, but it got remastered. Well, this also, you gotta remember, it has the puzzles where it uses the camera, too. And some of them are crucial to the game. You have to light, you have to shine a light on the camera, and it's supposed to recreate a flame. I mean, things like that. I mean, how do you translate that, you know? I mean, you can, but it's extra work. I saw that ad for World Tanks. I never listen to anyone about paid sponsorships, so I trust your word over anyone else's. Seeing you enjoy yourself and anything. But yeah, I mean, it's fun. It really is fun. Like I said, they're not paying me for saying this. <laughs> it was a one-time thing so far. <laughs> but um, it, it is a lot of fun. I, I recommend it. Which, uh, on this channel, I'm never going to recommend a game that I don't actually uh, find some enjoyment in. Especially if it's paid. At least World of War Tanks is free. You don't have to pay a penny to play it. It is filled with microtransactions, but they're all cosmetic stuff, I believe. I'm playing it on PC right now. Armored Core is another From Soft game? Is it? Armored Core, hold, am I thinking about the same game? Armored Core, isn't that the game from, um, with the mech suits, like Gundam? Or am I thinking of something else? Hold on. There's a glyph that looks like the one from the bridge statues. <laughs> also i love that little bit of retreat real gamers never retreat that was actually <laughs> if you look carefully that was actually from the tutorial section of the game um style matches i was trying my best i think you have to die in that or you have to back up in that part because the game tells you to retreat, and I kept trying. I was like half an hour just trying to fight them because I wanted to win, but I don't think you're able to. I just kept dying it over and over trying to beat them. But every time I did, I'd explode because they just gang up on you. AC3 Liberation 2. It's got what? Is that like the camera light puzzles? I don't remember that. It's been forever since I played it. Are you going to do Uncharted Timeline at some point? Uh, eventually, yeah. That's one of the ones on my list. On my ever-growing list. <laughs> God, I feel like I'm going to get washed away. Like, okay, like, look at this water. Look at that water. I'm playing on a handheld. From 2011. Like, how is that not amazing? Like, that's borderline PS3 quality right there. It really is. It looks so good. I'm telling you, man, the Vita was... The Vita was an impressive machine. It really was. Such a shame it didn't do well. <laughs> Baby and Schilling for free, so they go back to paying him nods. Yeah, well. Hey, you know I'm always honest with you guys. <laughs> if, if they offer to pay me. I mean, I'd do another ad. Why not? Like I said, I genuinely liked it. I used to love playing those Nicktoons crossover games. I don't think I've ever played one of those. It was like Smash Brothers. God. You know what I think is funny? Speaking of ads, I love whenever, um... Hate to admit it. What is it? Um... Might be right for a change. Not Manscaped. Right. Dollar Shave Club. When people like the quartering, for example, do Dollar Shave Club ads, and it's like, wait a minute. I don't think you ever shave. <laughs> like, you just got this giant beard, and you're, 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 you're advertising Dollar Shave Club. I actually, you know what, I actually bought Dollar Shave Club once. Um, my fiancé had, like, a coupon or something for, like, a free set for, like, a month, and we did it. <laughs> Shit was actually good. They're really cheap, though. Like, you can't expect to, like, get one of their razors and use it for, like, months and months. They're really cheap, but they, 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 they feel really good. But I, I guess that's how they get you. It's, it's real cheap, so you keep getting more and more of them. Try not to kick them in the I like the water in there. Yeah, it looked very drinkable. 
When's that ever stopped? See chapter two already. I don't think these chapters are very long. I still need the thing timeline. You know, I still want to do that. I have so much. I, I I wish I could. Sometimes I wish I could just like freeze time. You know, like hit from Dragon Ball. I could just freeze time and just work on videos, and then have then unfreeze time and have like a hundred videos ready. <laughs> like, there's so much stuff I want to do that it's just it's impossible to find the time to do everything I want. Wait a minute, my camera was glowing. I don't know what that was. Hey. You see that up there? Yeah? Yeah, why don't you go take a look? Is that why I'm here? To be your errand boy? Okay, never mind. It's behind that thicket of bamboo. Red and Saints Row 3 remastered. I made a female character really? too. Yeah. Somehow I spent less time in character creation yeah, than you did. One. That's because you saw my That's tutorial, all right? <laughs> so you knew how to do it. Right. You're welcome. Wait here for me. Oh, actually, you know what? Hold on. I think... Oh. Never mind. I thought I had my sub counter disabled. There it is. Still remember your face when you saw another monkey. I died laughing in the car. Man, that... Okay. How do I express my feelings at that point? It was confusion, sorrow, and anger all rolled up into one. Target photo. Oh. I gotta move this around. Great of 100%. I gotta take an exact... I think this is extra stuff. I don't care about that right now. Or do I have to do it? Okay. God, I hate motion control. I, I gotta do some motion controls. That's close enough. What, what do you want... 95%. Great of 100% is required. That looks exact. Oh, I gotta be even closer. Alright. Is that good enough for you? Oh my god. That looks exactly like the picture. Yes! Got it. Wait, maybe I didn't have to do this. <laughs> I guess I didn't have to. Okay. No, see, I think I can just leave. Where are we going? Any chance you'll play the badass 4K... Oh, 40K game Space Marine? I have it on a PS3. I'll have to play it sometime. What do I have to... Um... I remember there were some parts like this where I was like, what the hell do I do? Is it something I... Oh, he... God. Okay, so photos are optional. See, that's the thing in these games. Anytime you're lost, there's always something you can climb. Always. I use a cutthroat razor myself, so I got no interest in these online razor clubs. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of paying on monthly for them. Um, that's I just did it for like the free trial. And then I just never did it again. I liked it, though, while I had it. But yeah, me, I, I just buy a razor, and that's what I use until, you know, until it's time to get a new one. God. Oh, that's just oh that looked like I could climb it! <laughs> Oops. <laughs> the monkey is dead forever. Screw that monkey. The Vita was too powerful. They should have done something like DS so they weren't constantly competing with the PS3 and 4 with the games they were making. Yeah, like, I, I like the fact that the Vita was so powerful. The problem was, 
is every time they came out with a really good game for it, they would find a reason to remaster to it, put junk. it on console. He's kind of you know, so it's like, well, with stuck? the exception of something like this, but so like, what was the point of having a Vita at that point? You know, <laughs> it's like, okay, well, I could play all these other games on my PS3. So what do I need you for? When they should have made some exclusives that stayed exclusive, at least for a long time. That would have really helped out the sales. Can't wait for Bat Wednesdays. Yeah, this Wednesday we're doing, um... Let's get this. We're doing uh, Arkham Asylum. I can't wait. I always like starting new games on stream. Because every time I play a game for a couple weeks and I'm done with it, it's always such a nice feel. It's like something else like on the backlog checked off. Even though most of the games I, I stream are like this are games that I already beat. But Well, you know what? To be fair, I haven't beaten this on Crushing. So it's technically new. I'm enjoying this stream, but there's a distinct lack of poo flinging. What, you want me to start flinging poo in real life? <laughs> I can do that. I don't have any ammo at the moment, though. Oh, no! I did not... No. I didn't even mean to do that. I walked right off. <sighs> Why do they keep starting me here? Is that when you get to the bamboo stalks, you gotta use your machete to chop them down? Uh, see, I don't even remember having a machete in this game. Oh, I probably had a little indicator that was popping up on my my touch screen. Well, let, let's go see again. Try not to kick him in the junk. He's kind of sensitive. When's that ever stopped you? In Japan, the Vita was marketed as a handheld. In the U.S., it was marketed as a PS3 and 4 accessory. See, I I think that's kind of what um, the marketing was bad because I I don't even remember the marketing at all. Um, but yeah, you don't want to market something like this as an accessory. It should, it should have been marketed as standalone console because it, it really was. It is a standalone console. I mean, it had features where you can use it as a like remote play, which I used a couple times back in the day. But that's not the main focus. Its own thing. <laughs> ah. Oh my god! I. I I almost accidentally pressed circle. I would have gone plummeting again. Okay. Oh, yeah, see, they're... Oh, hold on, it's got all this touchscreen shit now. You have to do those, like, touch combinations. Alright. I'm not a huge fan of these gimmicks, by the way. I love the game, but you know, you knew they were always gonna have those gimmicks. Got another glyph. This is why we need clear cuts. Monsoons wash all the, the crazy acid strip scarecrow fights. I, I love those. That's all you guys. Scarecrow's my favorite Batman villain. Called roads. <laughs> Are you recording this? The secrets of technology. Um, from my Vita, through USB. Um, look up on YouTube how to jailbreak a PS Vita. That's how I did it. You jailbreak it, then you can transmit video through USB. Which means you can stream it. I only totally see the Guardian 8 being a boss in Uncharted. Please, no. There, there's no reason for that. For that speculation. Okay, it's so quiet. Because no one's firing at me. This road leads back down the strip mine, where we started. Oh, so we took the shortcut. It's a scenic route, smartass. We're almost Are you using the Vita as a controller? Yeah, basically. Um, I saw online there's You're actually a way... Oh, shit. How do I know? There's what actually a way when you jailbreak it where you can use the uh, DualShock 3 or 4. Or DualShock 4, actually. As a uh, controller, but... No, anyway, I'll just use the Vita. I didn't want to mess with all that. It was already a pain in the ass to try to get this to work properly. Like, having a controller, like, Bluetooth sync to the Vita, that's just another thing that could go wrong in the middle of the stream. Come on. Nope! Stay down. Stay down, Drake. Oh, what the hell? That guy was dead. I thought he was. Ah! Uh, I don't care if you're on crushing mode. You must die. Okay. How is he still alive? 
Oh, now he's dead. For damn sure. When's the Superman 64 stream? I have no answer for you. I do not know, alright? We, we gotta get through Aquaman first at 100k. Thank you, now I need ammo. You're playing Uncharted, not Assassin's Creed. I think, does Nathan Drake kill, well, no, I think in Assassin's Creed you kill more people, right? Because Nathan Drake's got a pretty big, uh, he's got a pretty big body count as well. I have a Vita and I genuinely love this game. Yeah, me too. This is, all right, there's two reasons I haven't gotten rid of my Vita because most games are available on PS3 and PS4. Um, two reasons. Great One, this game. Tractor. Reason number two, Killzone Mercenary. As long as those don't get remasters, I will never get rid of my Vita. I love those games too much. Yeah, I bet. And I never, I never finished uh, Killzone Mercenary too. I think I'm on like next last mission or something. But when I stream it, I'm just gonna start it over. That game actually had a good story too. Do you just, do you still think Doom Eternal is harder than Sekiro? Oh, I think Doom Eternal is way harder than Sekiro, to be honest. Yeah, no, Sekiro is not an easy game, but here's the thing. Once you um, once you learn the boss patterns of the boss you're fighting, it is significantly less difficult than when you first fought the boss. Um, Doom Eternal? Yeah, there's not a whole lot of strategy behind these crazy sections of Doom Eternal. It's just pure survival. Um... Puzzle completed. So do I have to do it again? Oh. Yeah, I guess I don't have to do it again. Because, yeah, it doesn't even let me move it. I'm just saying. You know, I kind of like that. Nice job. <laughs> I kind of like that. I'm not going to lie. It keeps the gameplay flowing now. Right. Don't bother helping. Depends on which AC game you're talking about. That is true. You got it. Because, like, in Black Flag, I killed a ton of people. Oh, really? I, got I mean, if you include everyone that, that died in the ships okay. I sank. Like, in that game, I tried my best to become the terror of the deep. Thanks for your help. I was trying to be Davy no Jones. Problem. That's what friends are for. I like how the bad guys have infinite ammo. Yeah, and almost infinite health at times, too. Peligro. Here we are. What do you think, huh? Does PS Vita have achievements like PS3 and PS4? Oh, yeah, check it out. Oh, I'll show you after the cutscene real quick. That's a lot of Which points. is one thing I loved about the Vita. It was a handheld and it had trophies. And it sinks right to your, um... Spanish. You know, right to the regular trophies, oh, yeah. You tell me. Well, usually the regimental insignia are either on the front of the helmet... I love the, the fact that a hacked right Vita could crest. be overclocked. Can it really? I didn't look into that. That's cool. Yeah, so, check this out real quick. And you can multitask. So, yeah, it's got its own little trophies app. Yeah, and it, it separates them between PlayStation Network and so which is all your trophies and uh, it takes forever to load though. And then you've got Vita specific ones, so yeah, it's just it's just like the PS3 but in a handheld. It's super cool. It's so easy to use too. I love it. I did this puzzle nope, too. Not there. The regimental insignia on the helmet is the Nueva Galicia coat of arms, proving the soldiers were Coronado's men. See, and there's so many collectibles in this game, too. I used to love doing this, just looking at all the different collectibles and reading about them, because they actually do a lot to fill in the um, the backstory of, like, the history of where you are. Yeah, I knew that. 16th century. New Spain. Wesley, welcome. These guys died a long way from home. They didn't just die. They were murdered. Oh, this is the new girl oh, in this hey, game. Hey, hey. Oh, this is the girl that's with you throughout Jason, the whole game. What are you doing out here? Uh, I don't know. You said you're going out to... Somebody thinks Superman 64 would be more fun and interesting than Aquaman? Oh, you followed I don't know. Like Maybe. Problems. They both suck. <clears throat> this is uh, Nathan Drake. He's a buddy of mine from the old days. Finally beat Ultimate Line stream the DLC epilogue. I never finished the DLC with Doctor Doom. I had to go back and level up because he whooped my ass. Nope. You aren't one of Dante's buddies, no prison tats. You have no idea. You got a strong grip yourself. You guys want to tell me what you're doing up here? Sure. You'll be the first to know once I find out. Hey, 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 hey. Look, we're just doing a little business, all right? Here. And I did tell you about him, you just weren't listening. Uh, no, you didn't. Oh, yes, I did. No, you didn't. I... 
I need an AK-47 or something. I hate it when I'm just stuck with a handgun. I feel so weak. Go ahead. What? What's he doing? No, 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 no. That wasn't even part of the... All right. I'm on my way. Is Doom harder than Look Dormammu? Um, Don't worry your pretty little head about it. I, I think so. This. Well, the hell is going on? You put that thing away. Hard to say because now my characters are leveled up enough to beat Dormammu, all, right? but I had to go back and level up enough to beat Doom. The, the hard part about Doom is that he's not that hard, but he has certain attacks that can almost one shot you. So it's important to be leveled up. It requires a much higher level than Dormammu does. It's one of the few things he's actually good at. So I get once you level up, he's probably not as bad. Why don't you tell me what you're doing spying on your partner? <laughs> partners just bang already people in the jungle in sort the heat and mosquitoes Spanish. like biting your balls partners i don't know i don't know how um Spanish got the gold comfortable the that, that would be shaft. you know what happened here looks to me like the spanish are the ones who got the shaft we don't know these soldiers were murdered yeah Nothing. this one has to do with the legend of um the seven cities of gold in like Panama or something. I guess some Spanish legend or something. Turn it over and look at the other side. What was on the other side? Oh, this use this uses the back touchpad. The lack of bludgeon marks proves that the conquistadors were not killed by the Kuna, who used maces and clubs. There are no crush marks. So resistance burning sky. Oh, that's another reason I won't get rid of it. Yeah, resistance also. All of them. Yeah, I got to do that one too. I got to. Someone remind me. Do you guys know when? I got to look it up. I don't remember when it takes place. When does burning skies take place? Isn't it? This is the great mystery that Dante says. Is it between one and two? I forgot. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. He did mention. Yeah, I'll have to do that one though. Oh, you're the expert on on esoteric books. <laughs> Maps, artifacts. Right, like Dante would know what esoteric means. <laughs> this? This is why you're here. What, a grave marker? My sister had a new baby, now I'm an uncle of two. Nice, congrats, Wesley. That's awesome. It's awesome being uncle. I became one a couple years ago to one kid. Markings aren't Spanish. No. No, it's like nothing we've ever seen before. And no one has any idea what it means. <laughs> you know. What? Uh, no. You no. know what it means. Yeah, that's cool. Okay. Even for a handheld game, like the quality of like the voice life. acting is still there too. I, I don't know what you're talking about. Like they took just as much care in this game as they did with the console okay. port or with the console version. Well, you know what? Dante's trying to cut me out, and you know he'll do the same to you. So, let's you and me be partners. Did you stream Ultimate Alliance Three DLC? Oh no, I didn't. God. I don't remember why. I think when it the stream when it came out, there was other stuff I was in the middle of streaming. I'll give you. I might stream it sometime though. Really. I don't think it's for the hell of it. First, because you can actually trust me. And second, because Dante hasn't seen this. All right, now that's a good reason. <laughs> oh, that thing's in the loading screen. Partners. I don't remember what it is. No. What? Why? If you know Dante at all, you know he's not the kind of guy you should cross. All right, whatever. Well, wait. Doesn't mean we can't still. Got a deal. That's not how proof works. You just leave Dante out of it, right? You show me yours, and I'll show you mine. Oh, <laughs> there it is. You show me yours, I'll show you mine. I don't know why I trust you. Gross. I you. Here. Thank you to the 69 of you in here. My Welcome to this uncharted uh, Monday. The archaeologist who found it said that the figure on the right is Geopotex, goddess of fertility and birth. She's holding Mahuacritex. God, even the textures and everything look nice. They were look at that, so shiny. Look at the back. It depicts some kind of serpent temple, ruled by Itzacatli, the god of death. Cool. Worn by the High Priest of the Golden Abyss. This, yep, there's the title. This amulet represented time before the Earth was made, before Mahua. Mahuacuyotex and Chiopotex were separated by Itzikaltili at the centering of the heavens. I'm sure I pronounced that 100% correctly, by the way. 
<laughs> What's your favorite Uncharted Hello? game? Uh, your turn. I actually, oh, right. not so, a popular opinion because pen, most people say two. I actually liked them as they came out. It was two, then it was three, and now it's four. Like, four is absolutely my favorite. I okay. I love the storyline of four. I was hooked to that storyline. This symbol is Visigoth. So that that is currently Visigoth. my favorite. Oh, Lost Legacy was okay, but I never finished I it. Um, I didn't get all that invested. It, 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 century. Good game, but it, it was hard for me to get invested in it since there was no Nathan Drake, really. But look. You know, but um, good gameplay. I just need to finish it. All right, I did this charcoal Hey, rubbing. what's that? Is that charcoal? Hey, wait a minute. I've never seen those symbols. I'm pretending before. I'm doing it. Need to replay Ultimate Alliance 1 and 2. Uh, replayed 1 and finally beat 2, then buy and beat 3. Those games are so much fun. I want to do the X-Men Legends Charcoal game soon. I haven't played those in ages. Very cool. Yeah, see, the faint markings go all around the symbol. How did we it's miss English, this? baby. English. It was English. Now I know why Dante wanted you up here. Uh, so you know what it means? Uh, no. Unless. Unless what? Get down. Come on, back here. Playing in my castle in timeline when I was talking about, about used to Belmonts, which I, I googled how to pronounce it, and that's exactly how Google said it. You always have people in the comments like, this is how you pronounce it. The pronunciation patrol, I call them. And they'll give you examples and talk about how you have to say it with a French accent. It's like, I'm not fucking French. I, I'm, I'm Puerto Rican living in America. I'm sorry I can't pronounce a French fucking name. <laughs> Forgive me. It is what it is. Accept it. Oh, I'm about to die. Oh! Oh, fatality. I should have I should have uh, hit behind the box. Lost Legacy was half separate game and half DLC and suffered for that. Yeah. It, it's um I played it up into the part where you get to the main like hub area where you have to explore. Um but then it just kind of fell in my backlog. I want to finish it someday just cuz I like Uncharted but All right, I'm taking this dude out with a headshot. Next man pops up. Come on, pop up. Oh! All right. Touch screen. Touch screen. Touch screen. What? There was no strategy to that. I was just, I was smashing my thumb on the touch screen, hoping he died. I forgot I had little direction arrows you have to mess with too. I'm not even trying to throw grenades. I think, I think you get to swipe up at the grenade or something. But I know I'm gonna mess up by the time I get, I, I look down at the screen. Oh no! I have no ammo. I got him. Oh no! Here. Oh, he got shot in the face. Hell yeah. Fuck. Stop throwing grenades, man. I'm not even going to go for the headshot. I'm just going to keep shooting the body. Oh, he died. Good. What an idiot. He blew himself up. <laughs> the Grand Army of the Pronunciation Patrol, right? Ah. Touch screen again. Swipe down. Swipe up. Yes. Alright, I'm alive. I think there's only one dude left, too. And he, he's the one that's going to get lucky and off me. Stop moving. Oh, there's another guy. It's kind of hard to aim in this game with the joysticks, too, because the joysticks on the Vita are so small. Like, they're so short. It feels weird. Oh, God. Oh, how did I live? <gasps> that, that was lucky. That was lucky. 
All right. I could blind kill this guy. Woo! Hell yeah. Bounty Hunter Templanza. Oh, you know what other game I have on? Actually, check this out. I have this game, and I didn't really like it. Um, Where is it? Yeah, on the top right there, Call of Duty Black Ops. It was a completely original Vita game. It was Call of Duty Black Ops Declassified. It's weird. Because um, it's not... It's weird because it doesn't have like a full-blown campaign. It's like untold missions from Black Ops. But you have to... They're, they're like really short, like little challenges. It's like weird. I kind of wish I hadn't bought that game. I was hoping it'd be like an exclusive full-blown campaign. That we get out of here. Just like the other ones, you know? It's just but it's, like... it's just not... Muramasa. Oh yeah, Muramasa is a great game. I love that game. I forgot I had that on here. That never got remastered either, did it? Because that was a Wii game. And then they brought it here. What? Hold on. What other games do I? I don't remember. I have Gravity Rush. I need to re-download that. Um. See, I don't have that many. I've got Escape Plan, Mutant Blobs Attack, Super Stardust, Wipeout. Oh, God of War Collection. I remember I, I went on a cruise and I downloaded it so I can get the trophies for it. Uh, AC3 Liberation, Arkham Origins Blackgate, which, by the way, I never beat the Vita version because I got so bored playing it. Killzone, Ninja Gaiden Plus, Resistance, Uncharted, Muramasa, Silent Hill Book of Memories. That game sucks. Um, it does not feel like a Silent Hill game. It's like a, it's like a Silent Hill game that's trying to mask itself as a, um, multiplayer game. I, I did not enjoy it <laughs> at all. It's so boring. And it's not the least bit scary. Do you think you'd do a stream for Switch involving Castle Crashers? Did that come out on Switch? I mean, I'm sure I would, but... Well, I would do the... I have the Xbox One, um... Actually, I have both versions. On Xbox One, I've got the Castle Crashers 360 port. Or the 360 version, and then the remaster. I love that game. If you like Muramasa, will you be playing Odin's Fear? I've never played that game. I think Mikkel streamed that once, or someone I know streamed it once. Uh, Does it play crazy. like it? I'm gonna start glowing in the dark. No, that's the tailing area. If it's like Muramasa, I would probably enjoy it. Well, so I'd probably do that someday. I guess. Konami gave that's up on Silent Hill before they yeah. gutted MG. Yeah. I, I don't know what the hell they did with Silent Hill Book of Memories. That. I was excited about it because I was like, oh, cool, handheld Silent Hill. It doesn't play like a handheld Silent Hill. It's a completely different game. It, it sucks. Oh! Yeah, that's right. You got that headshot. You like that, don't you? You want one, too? Oh, shit. Wait. Can't give you one. It was remastered. I have PC and remastered. Versus... Oh, okay. Yeah, I already have the Xbox One remastered. So that's what I would be streaming on when I do. Castle Crash is such a fun game. Um, I also like, uh, they, they did Alien Hominid before that. That was a cool game. But that wasn't a beat em up. I think it was the same developers. No! I gotta figure out how to throw those grenades back. I'm scared of them because I'm not sure how to throw them back on Alita. Oh, what a dumbass. I wasn't even aiming at him. I was aiming at this dude. Hey, if you want to get a headshot and you want to get in the way, you're welcome. Got plenty to go around. Who wants more? Ah! Get out of the way! Piece of shit. Oh, I just started playing, uh, by the way, um, what's it called? The prison game, um, uh, A Way Out. I just started playing that with, with my fiance the other day, because it's co op. That game's actually really good. I, I really enjoy that game. We've been playing through it, and, and we started it, so we, we're not very far. We just got to the part where, where you have to escape behind the toilets and stuff, and you're trying to get out of the prison, but I, I think that's really cool, that, like, forced co-op play. I like that. Over here. For Castle Crashers, I got dibs on Assistant Poison Man. There's so many characters to pick in Castle Crashers. It's so cool. That was one of the things that made me replay that game over and over and over. Because I wanted to level up all my characters. Remember sure Circle of the Moon and Curse of the Moon are different games? Oh, God. I hate having to say those titles. They're way too similar to Castlevania. 
I'll be fine. The right. curse of the circle of the ritual symphony. Like, it's the same word Whoa. usage. Whoa. Why don't I just stay here until you get across? Yeah. Maybe that's a good idea. A way out is awesome. Fuck the Oscars. That dude, man, the guy that created it was wild on the Game Awards. They had to, like, tell him to tone it down. He was all cocky and everything. What do you mean they killed her? They literally just started shooting at her. Well, to be fair, I was taking my time trying to take cover. I should have just started firing back. Damn it. Alright. Don't shoot her. Shoot me. Shoot at me. Okay. No. There's more? There we go. Go, go, go! I think I'm actually, um... My birthday's in two days. So, and the reason I mentioned it is because, um... I think... I didn't really have a whole lot of plans for my birthday. Um... I'm tilting the Vita! I didn't really have a lot of plans for my birthday because I just... I don't know what to do and then COVID's around. Like, you just... I don't know. So uh, we were just going to go maybe to an escape room, maybe do some axe throwing that I saw online that I thought looked really cool. Um, but I think I'm going to take like two of those days and just do nothing but play video games. Like, not for the channel, even just... Oh, so this is going to be one of those protection parts. But just play video games just for fun. Um, I've been working on Horizon. I'm thinking of starting The Last of Us Remastered because I downloaded that ages ago and I haven't touched it. I might do that. I wanted to stream that, but I don't know. I kind of want to start start playing it soon. Oh, oh, come on. No. It's bullshit. Bullshit. Just don't play Last of Us 2. Oh, well, I still want to. I'm going to play it eventually. But, um, I've heard mixed things. I genuinely know people that played it and hated it. Like, if you didn't play it, I, I don't even care about your opinion. But, um, like, I actually know people that played it that loved it. I know people that played it and hated it. And I know people that played it and were somewhere in between. So, like, literally, I know people that, from all three different opinions, that actually played it. So I'm very curious about what I'll think. One thing I've heard from most people is that you're either going to love or absolutely hate the storyline. But the gameplay is good. Which, to me, that's going to be the most important thing. But that, that's what I've heard. Um, eventually I'll play it. I, I have too much shit on my back. Outstanding. Katie Forsyth, welcome to the channel. Alright, let me not die here. Oh, so Alright, hold on. I gotta tilt this the right way. <sighs> Come on, don't make me do this stupid... This is so gimmicky, I hate this. Alright. There. Castlevania, Cir Curse of the Circle of the Order of the Belmont's Ecclesia Quest. <laughs> That's a mouthful. <laughs> but yeah, you nailed it. What's that? Is that something? Oh, by the way, um... That's what I was going to say. <laughs> I, I was, um... Talking about my birthday, because I think, like, the first four days of July, up until 4th of July, I'm just going to kind of take a break from creating stuff. Just to, like, kind of enjoy my birthday week a little bit. Um... Tomorrow, I'm going to have the history of Kano up on the channel. And then after the 4th of July, I'll start working on the next batch of content, which I'll be planning out for the whole month. And if you're a patron or a channel member, I will post the whole schedule for the month so you guys know what's hey, up. I came up. Even though it usually changes halfway through the month, More but I'll, I'll let you guys know about right. that, too. Hey, Guerrero's men like to cut these, you know. Would you hurry? Which, by the way, the history of Kano video came out way better than I expected it. There is so much interesting shit about Kano all from the, uh, aside from just the video game universe that well, you guys will see a lot of interesting facts about his development and how drastically that character's changed over time oh, I thought I was gonna fall They're gonna cut the rope. I told you they started shooting at me before I was even oh God Hold on, I was not ready for that at all. I was not ready at all. Damn it. 
Last of Us 2 is a bit like Alien 3 and 4. Some people judge it just as a movie. Some people judge it for what it did to their characters and all the other things. Yeah, so for me, I kind of know how I am with those kind of games. For me, I would probably look at it as... I mean, the gameplay is important, yes. From the story, I'd probably look at it like a movie. So, I don't know. I, I'm Me, personally, I'm more open about what video games do with certain characters because I just kind of let the developers take me with where they're taking the story. It's not my story at the end of the day. Um, unless you're Terminator Dark Fate. If you're Terminator Dark Fate, you can suck my ass. That movie sucks. That's the exception to the rule, all right? You don't touch John Connor in the first five minutes of the movie. That's all I'll say about that movie. <laughs> I don't want it to ruin my evening. What kind of cake do you want? You know what kind of cake I usually like? I like ice cream cakes. Like those Carvel ice cream cakes. I usually just get one of those. This is a horrible checkpoint, by the way. I, I It should checkpoint me right here. Because I, I don't want to deal with this log section. Kano is one of the best MK characters. I love Kano. A lot of people hate him, though. But see, I like Kano because he's such a good villain. He's just a bad dude. Like, he's an absolute dirtbag, and he's well aware of it and doesn't care. Like, that's a great villain. All right, let me not... men like to cut these, you know. Shit, all right. you hurry? Come on. Come on. I'm ready now. I'm ready now, bitches. I see him. Keep going. That was a headshot. That was a headshot. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Keep going, keep going. Is that it? No! I'm screwed. I'm screwed. Oh, wow! For some reason, they didn't shoot at me for a moment. Did it glitch out? They weren't shooting at all. I'm not sure that was supposed to happen, but you know what? I don't give a damn. Glitch all you want, as long as it benefits me. Run. <laughs> Run. I must get to another checkpoint. From what I can tell, they basically did Jolt what Last Jedi did to Skywalker. Yeah, what... Honestly, what's kind of... And this is the reason I hate leaks. Because... I mean, I'll, I'll go ahead and say this. The whole game is practically been spoiled for me already. Not by anyone in particular, but just general internet talk that you can't really stay away from. And things you see, like, I know practically the whole, like, all the main important points. So, it, it's just kind of shitty that leaks even happen at all. Because people that genuinely don't want to know anything uh, have to, like, make, make it their mission to not find stuff out, even when they're not trying to. So, regardless of what your opinion is on a game, like, at the end of the day, le leaks suck. Because it just kind of it ruins the game for the people that actually do care. Oh, this is a new puzzle. I never found this one. Interesting. There, it's coming clear. There we go. And with The Last of Us Two, also I find it funny how like. I mean, I I find it hard to believe it's a ten out of ten, because, I mean, ten out of tens are. I, I, the, the last game I could think of that I would call a 10 out of 10, which I, I wouldn't even say Resident Evil 2 and 3 Remake are, um, but the last game I think I would give it to is Doom Eternal. Like, to me, that game is the perfect score. Um, so I find it hard to believe that's a 10 out of 10, but at the same time, like, you see all these stupid reviews have 0 out of 10, like, come on. Like, in all seriousness, it's probably, like, regardless of the story, the game's probably competent in terms of gameplay. Like, do you know how bad a game has to be to earn a 0 out of 10? Like, that, I mean, look at, like, Hell to, uh, what's the, that, that motorcycle game, um, Road to Hell Retribution, I think it was called? And that's not even, like, a 0 out of 10, you know? Like, you, you have to be real, like, dysfunctional to be a 0 out of 10. Wait, whoa, whoa, careful! <laughs> Worry about I even it. give Aquaman a battle it's battle for Atlantis a one out of ten because uh, nope. it functions. <laughs> it works and you can complete it. I'm sorry you have to play Special Forces again. Yeah, you guys should be proud of yourselves for voting for Kano. It was funny because people were telling me I should record all the footage so I don't have to redo it for Jax. And I was like, I played the whole game from beginning to end and recorded it, so I don't ever have to play it again. I just have the footage on my hard drive. Yeah, I know, but. 
So does Guero. Do you have any other ideas? No, I guess not. Come on. At least I got to a checkpoint. I haven't cared about Last of Us 2 since the E3 trailer and Druckmann told me to leave his games alone. Yeah, putting the, the game itself aside, um, one thing I can agree on is that the marketing for it was abysmal. Like, I, here, here's the thing. And, and this goes to Hollywood, too. If you're a game developer or, or a movie creator and you know your movie is going to kind of have like a split reaction on the audience, like, don't sit there and try to purposely trigger people, you know? Because at the end of the day, those are the people that are either A, going to give you money, or B, not going to give you money. You want them to give you money. So if you're making a product like that, you know, talk about it generally and just let the game speak for itself and let it come out. So yeah, I do think the marketing um, wasn't very good. Arguably, it didn't really have much of an effect on sales, though. The game still broke all kinds of records. Um, the game sold like crazy. I think, isn't it what, isn't it like Sony's like top-selling... Um, I think it's like they're, they're fastest selling exclusive or something like that. I could be wrong about that. I, I was reading the sales number. It said something like that. I'm back. Delicious Calzone. What did I miss? Uh, me killing a couple dudes while I was climbing stuff. Which is basically all of uh, Uncharted. Superman 64 and Sonic 06. Negative 10 out of 10. Ooh, Sonic 06. I can't wait to stream that. I genuinely want to finish that game. I got to start it over. I don't remember where I stopped. All right, listen, I'm a bit confused. Where did Dante go? I don't know. Where did he go? I don't know. Sorry, you were saying. Next thing I'm looking forward to is Ghost of Tsushima. I hope it's not too similar to Sekiro, because I'm going to be coming off Sekiro and then play that. I don't want to feel like I'm playing the same game again. I, I see a lot of Assassin's Creed in this in Tsushima, though. Oh no! 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 Oh no, please. I hate that. PlayStation drops the ball sometimes. They did on the Vita. This console could have still been going if they played uh, their cards right and marketed it well. Sold three million in three days. See, as far as see, and I know some people have said like, "Oh, well, they're refusing returns," but it's like that doesn't account for. The, there's not three million people trying to return the game. That's just not realistic. It sold well at the end of the day. Like reviews are one thing and opinions are another, but if you look at the numbers, the game did sell well. Uh, it it was successful. Oh oh, I thought I thought it messed up. I'm very interested in Ghost after seeing the showcase. Yeah, Wesley, you were there at E3. You remember when, uh... Well, you I assume you were at E3 the year before last year, too, right? They had the, the giant uh, Sony theater, and they were playing the, the first trailer for Tsushima, and everyone was like, whoa. I bought a Ghost of Tsushima pin. That was E3 2018. Didn't they say Dante is the villain? I think... See, I don't remember the story too well. I, I think he betrays him in one part or something. I, I don't know. It, it's one of those, like, Uncharted twists that, like, everyone sees coming from a mile away. That happened in, like, every Uncharted game. It's like, oh, this guy's working for you. Just kidding. He's a traitor. Are you going to stream Cyberpunk when it comes out? Probably. I, I got to see when it comes out. I'm, I'm kind of glad it got delayed for that reason. Because there's a lot of games coming out right now I want to play. So that'll give me more time to plan for it. But I would like to stream it when it comes out. Careful. I think Ghost of Shima is going to be very different from Sekiro. One thing, there are no Resident Evil style monsters. That is true. You you have a point. Um, from a lot of the gameplay I've seen, it looks very Assassin's Creed inspired. In terms of uh, some of the mechanics and some of the four battles and things. So I, I wonder if that's going to have an influence on it. Ghost of Tsushima interests me for several reasons. One, Sucker Punch is behind it, and I played the hell out of the Infamous series. I, that's one of my favorite PlayStation exclusives. I love Infamous. I love those open sandbox games with superpowers. My right. favorite Infamous is the uh, first one. I liked it. Um, 
two was good too, but one is my favorite. And Second Son, I was really disappointed with. It was it was short. It was easy. Had an uninteresting character, in my opinion. Um, didn't care for Second Son. I did enjoy the DLC with that that girl with like the this neon light Grimes powers. Looks. That was it's cool. One of Dante's men. Hired to guard the site. <laughs> He's doing a good job. I have comments blocked. Hardly use this. social media and still to leave a forum because like idiots are talking spoilers and non-spoiler topics. See, I, I hate that. You can't stay away from that stuff. Excuse me. Oh, by the that way, Living Corpse, calling? thank you for, um, Living Corpse actually sent me a package I have right here. Gamera yeah. Trilogy. For bookie accounts of portfolio. It's got, uh, Let's go. three DVDs, which I'm probably gonna end up reviewing sometime. Gamera Attack of Legion, Revenge of Iris, and Guardian of the Universe right here. Get so, thank you, I appreciate that. Perfect condition, too. I went to my post office and they were, they were holding it for me. You rock, man. Nathan wouldn't be able to stand a chance against Dante. Oh, the Demon Dante? For sure. But I don't know. Nathan Drake always gets out of shit when he, he shouldn't be able to. So who knows? Can I not... Can I not climb that? I wish Second Son wasn't so... Eh. Yeah, it... And, and another thing, too, like... You can have all kinds of different powers and stuff, like type of powers, but I would always end up using the same ones, like after I got comfortable with them. So it just, I didn't care for it. It, it was all right at best. I, I like the play, the uh, spray paint mechanic. That was cool. When you had to like shake the controller and make it feel like you were, like it felt you were spray, uh, spray painting for real. That was cool. Which usually I don't like those kind of like gimmicky things, but I, I thought in that game it was, it was fun. I'm trying to get this headshot. Gotta stick around for maybe 10 minutes, but I gotta edit. Hey, no worries, Chip. God. Now they're not... Are you gonna pop your head out? See, now now they're just, they're just playing games with me now. Oh, I should, come on! I shot him right in the nose. You asshole. See, Uncharted definitely has some bullet sponge enemies. It always has. On the higher difficulties, at least. Fucking asshole. Thank you! Alright, one guy. There we go. I wanted them to bring back Cole. Me too. I, I was hoping that in the story they would bring him back, like, as a surprise, and it's, it's nothing to do with Cole. And that new character, what's his name, Delson, Delson Rowe, I think his name was? I just did not give a shit about that character. I really didn't. And the world just kind of felt lifeless, lifeless too. I liked in the first Infamous how it, it looked like a, like, in, in Second Son, it's just Seattle. You know, but in um, the original Infamous, it felt like a city straight out of a comic book. Like, it was a very, like, over-exaggerated looking city. Like, different sectors were had, like, different gangs running the cities. And it, it felt like I was playing a comic book story. That's what I liked about it. And that's where that's where the inspiration from the game originally was. And with Second Son, they kind of undid that, you know? It, it didn't really have that feel to me. I'd like to finish the stream, but I got some things to do. Appreciate the fun. Hey, no worries, Josh. Thanks for uh, hanging out while you could. If you end up not streaming till after your birthday, I'll miss it. Oh, no, I will be streaming. Yeah, when, when I said I'll be taking a break just from, like, editing and doing stuff all day. But I'll still... The stream schedule won't be affected. I'll Because streaming's fun to me, so... <laughs> that, I'll still be streaming. That, that That's not changing. Don't stop. More Guerrero's men show up. I actually think Delson's brother would have been a better protagonist. I don't even remember him in the game. <laughs> I really, I that's how unremarkable the story was to me, and I hundred, I think I hundred percent in that game actually. I know I beat it. I just don't remember if I got the platinum for it. That's the second worst thing about crushing is the bad guys take a hundred bullets. Yes, they do. 
The worst is the insta headshot aiming the bad guys have. Yes. <laughs> Everything you said was true. Oh, it's never been this wobbly. The ropes. Gamera vs. Godzilla needs to happen. Absolutely. Jump! Jump! I always I always call Gamera a slash because of uh, Ninja Turtles. Because he's just like a giant he looks like a giant snapping turtle almost. Nate! You made it! Yeah! I don't know how, but I did. I never played Infamous, and I probably won't in the near future. I need a new PS3. I'm mad they never released on PS4. Well, they might be on that PlayStation now. I've never used it, but um, I've heard it works really well. The blood I can live with. There's no way down. I can't get to you. Nathan Drake puts himself in so much danger. Find another way across. Plus, the evil path in Second Son felt pointless. I 100% agree with that. And yes, his brother would have been a much better protagonist choice. The ending for the evil run was super unremarkable, too. Like, it made the whole thing not even worth playing through a second time. I was so mad. Gamera's Toka from TMNT2. Yep. Toka's a snapping turtle. At least I think he was a snapping turtle. Babies! They're babies! One of Shredder's greatest lines in that movie. Would love a Blue Point remake of the first two Infamous games. I kind of wish we had a PS4 remaster of those. I'd buy them all over again. Without even thinking twice about it. All the Infamous games, including DLC, are available for PlayStation now. Oh, there you go. So yeah, there, I mean, there's options for you to play it. Just at least until you get a PS3 someday, you know. I don't even care if people want to know spoilers, more power to them. Just be considerate of others who don't want to know everything years before going in. Yeah, I completely agree with you, Living Corpse. I have the same problem. And that that's basically what happened with The Last of Us too. Like, if you weren't actively trying to hide from spoilers, to be honest, I wasn't. I didn't want to see them, but if you weren't actively trying your best to avoid them, there was no way. There was no way that you would avoid knowing what happened, and that sucks. No, 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 no. I remember Infamous Vampire DLC. That was fun. Yes. I had that as my wallpaper on my PS3 for a while. The download came with a free uh, theme. Oh, no. this is at me. Um, yep, Festival oh, of Blood. That's it. Uh, help? Over here. I have barely had any machine guns or anything in this game. <laughs> they just keep giving me handguns. They better upgrade me sometime. I like the sniper rifles. I like the Dragunov in uh, Uncharted. I have all the infamous games. I haven't touched them in like five years. She died already? I haven't touched them since I beat Second Son. Oh, come on. How was I supposed to protect her? Oh! Speaking of sniper rifle. Oh, wait. This is... Oh, God. Yep, yep. See, this, this is motion controls. I forgot. That's how you aim the sniper here. You actually have to move the Vita around. Oh, man, I really don't like this. Just let me use the joystick. Okay. Because you can move it around with the joystick, but to zoom in and out, you, you have to... You have to slide your finger around. I hate that. Oh, I shot him right in the ass. That it? I guess that's it. Dude, they're not stupid. They're infants. I don't really see the point of PS now. It just seems like a waste of money. It just seems like... Uh, I kind of feel like it was Sony's way of just seeing if they can do it. Like to try to test out the technology, but like I said, I, I've heard it works really well. I just I, I don't have any interest in streaming um, games. I actually either want to purchase them or, or download them. This might be a secret. Here we go. Yeah, no, I, I agree with you, Nataka. We'll, we'll, we won't really talk much about Last of Us 2 anymore, because I, I don't... 
I don't know all the spoilers in the game. I don't want to know anything more than I already do. But I know there's probably people in the chat that also don't want to know spoilers. So I, any, any conversations, just for anyone newer on the channel, any conversations anyone has about anything on stream, always try to keep spoilers out of it. I, I'm big on not spoiling things for people or myself. Okay, we got another charcoal rubbing. People wanting to leave their 16th century graffiti. The Nueva Galicia insignia links this carving to the helmet found at the site of the massacre. I would play this game. They put it on PS4 and removed all the PS Vita specific controls. Yeah, I would re-download it for sure. This game is one of the few reasons to own a Vita, which I, d I don't know. I don't know if it's really worth buying a Vita anymore. I mean, maybe if you can get one cheap. Because there, there's three games I own my Vita for. This... Killzone Mercenary and Resistance Burning Skies, which, to be fair, Resistance Burning Skies is kind of a one-shot game. Uh, it's very easy to platinum. I platinum that game, and mostly you just kind of have to beat it on the hardest difficulty. And and you've got all the trophies, pretty much. There we go. But I, I did enjoy it, though. Oh, fuck. I'm scared to make that jump. Can I make that jump? God. Oh! Wait, what? I don't want to, like... I don't want to die and then have to do that all over again. Joe, welcome. Just want to stop by and say hi. Can't wait till your Arkham stream. Appreciate you stopping by, man. <sighs> I'm trying to jump. Well, hold on. Maybe I'm not supposed to jump. Maybe the game is trying to warn me. I think I'm supposed to jump. Come on, welcome. We are playing Vita today. Oh, okay, I'm going for it. Okay, after all that. <laughs> after all that terror. Good lord. What's this? The land deed given to the Odessa Mining Company by the government of Panama. Once Noriega fell, the IOA took... Every time I see IOA, I think Islands of Adventure. That That's still the abbreviation here in Florida. IOA. Universal IOA. Took over control of much of the land contained in the deed. I'll say this. As a trustworthy person I am, Last of Us 2 is not as bad as everyone making it out to be. Yeah. Um... I, I usually when it, when it's situations like that are that are really blown up on the internet, um, that's usually the opinion I end up coming off with. Because I, I think at some point, and this is more of a general statement, but with these kind of situations, when something comes out that How people don't impressive. like on the internet. Like that, huh? There's there's a lot, and not Raising not to label everyone, but it is true with a lot of these cases. There tends to be this mom mentality where it becomes popular to hate something, whether it's justified or not. I mean, that's that's typically what happens. Like, like I, I won't say names, but I know, I know specifically YouTubers YouTubers that created negative reviews of the game and posted it on YouTube that haven't played it. And I know for a fact they haven't played it because they told me. Um, like I said, I won't say names because I don't want to get into it, but that's a really shitty thing to do. Not even just for Last of Us 2, for any game. If you're on a vendetta just to bash a game, you know, if you've played it and you genuinely don't like it, um, that's fine, you know. And you can even argue that for general audiences that, that have opinions on it, that's fine too. But if you're an online content creator, you should be holding yourself to a higher standard because you've got an audience. And yet you're making a video about a game and it's a review and you didn't play it. You just looked at the leaks and downloaded other people's video clips and formed your own opinion. That's really shitty. Um, but yes, that has happened. That has happened. And I know that for 100% fact. Is that Tom? Oh, that that's a bad guy. Hang on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stealth kill his bitch. Duh! Oh! Oh, shit! He had that coming. Oh, 
but yeah, like I said in the chat, keep keep let's keep away from any story details on it because I don't want people to get spoiled in the chat, including myself. That's it. I'm just making general statements from things I have observed that are really shitty. I don't know how to change my weapon. Wait, hold on. Oh fuck! Come on, man. I I was trying to. Can I change weapons? I don't even know. Technically, you could probably call that plagiarism. Yeah, I, I mean, I guess it wouldn't fit the legal definition of the word plagiarism. Because you are taking stuff from others and making it your own. Um, in my opinion, your opinion is just not valid because you haven't even played it. <laughs> so... Have you seen the reviews of Spongebob Squarepants Battle for Bikini Bottom Remaster? The scores they give it are so stupid. They just don't like fun. It was, really, Has it been getting bad reviews? I thought that game was like a fun game that everyone liked. I never played it. I, I was never big into Spongebob. Oh, it's the D-pad. I'm sitting there like swiping on my screen all kinds of different directions figuring out how to change weapons. Surprise! <laughs> There we go. I thought you said you'd kill me last. I lied. Come on. This one this guy's gonna come running at me. Oh god. Come on. Oh, there he is. There he is. Oh, can I shoot him off? Oh, man. I want to shoot him off the rope. Oh, you fuck. See ya. Got it. Call me. What's up, man? This is looking good. Yeah, dude. Do you have a Vita? Did you ever get a Vita? This game's awesome. You'd like it. I'm about to get blown away. Ah! No! I've never played the Uncharted series. It is, if you want a modern comparison, it's now it's a lot like the new Tomb Raider games because the new Tomb Raider games feel a lot like Uncharted now. All right. I gotta zoom in with my damn thumb. I wonder if there's I wonder if there's a way I can disable um Yeah, cuz look at this. So check this out. You aim by holding left trigger, but at the same time you're moving the Vita around, you could you could move with the right joystick like this. But the Vita also picks up the movement. The motion sensor. I think you can. Aiming off. Oh shit. Hold on. Off. Sniping camera off. Oh, this is perfect. I didn't really... Yeah, you could shut it off. So now... It's all with the joystick. Oh, thank God. I do have one. I got the Vita just for this game. Okay, so... You, you've made a wise choice. Alright, let me see. Oh, see, look. Yes! Let me see what the sniping's like now. Okay. All with the joystick now. See, this is how it should be played. Fuck all those motion sensing, like, yay, you can do it. Doesn't mean you should do it. Why are you hiding? This feels way better now. Let me get around the corner. I wonder if I should just jump over there. No, I'm gonna get lit up if I do. Resident Evil 4 mods are insane. Everything enemy, giant Dr. Salvador. I love the Resident Evil 2 remake mods. After a while, they got kind of boring, though, because they all felt the same. It was just, let's replace uh, Mr. X with whatever else. They're lighting me up while I'm trying to aim the sniper. Wait, wait, I gotta heal. I gotta heal. Get the fuck out of here. Where are you? I don't even know what these power-up cards do. Is that, the, is that the other guy? Did I get them all? 
Yeah, I got them all. Oh, God, this feels so much better without that motion gimmick. I, You know what's funny? I think the first time I beat this game, I think I played the whole thing that way, too. I never, I never went to options to look to see if there was a way to disable it. Uh, Uncharted's like an old action adventure movie in the form of a video game. Yes, very much so. Bullet sponge asshole. What about you? You're gonna be a bullet sponge too? You can't when you get shot in the face. <laughs> you ain't got time to bleed. If PS Now is just a streaming service, then I don't care. I prefer owning my games, don't you? Yeah, I agree with that. That's why I don't use it. Um, I believe, I've never used it, but I believe it is just streaming. You don't actually download them. Which some people argue when you when you download a game, technically you don't own it either. You just have a license, which, yeah, I mean, technically that's true. But, I mean, it's still on my hard drive. I can play it offline. If the service goes offline, I still have the game, you know. So, I mean, you, you still own it. But whenever, but whenever you're just streaming, there is no gray area. Like you straight up don't own anything, <laughs> not even really the license. I mean, you just—if they pull the game, your access to the game is lost. In most cases, if you download a game and they pull the game, you might not be able to re-download it, but you still have it and it's still playable. One example is uh, Transformers, um, the remaster for uh, Fall of Cybertron. They pulled it, so you can't download it anymore. But I still own it; it's still there. The Dante must have taken it. Are they tied into the Uncharted Vita card game? I have no idea. I've never looked into those power-up cards. Come on. There's some kind of like black market way. option or something hey, in the menu. I, I think it's for that, but I don't. I don't really know what it is. I mean, since I've beaten the game already, I can tell you it's not essential to the game. Would you like to see a Turok reboot? Absolutely. We we actually got one that most people didn't play, and it only lasted one game, and it was made by Disney Interactive, and I think it was their last game. Um. I love the game, and I've been wanting... It's been on my stream list forever, and I've actually had it on my review list since I started the channel, and I have not reviewed it yet. But I'm going to stream it sometime soon. I, I It's on 360 and PS3. I love that Turok game. It's like a bad sci-fi channel movie. Nate, if you don't mind what's going down for your 31 Nate. Days of Halloween, I'll let you guys know closer to that, because I'm still... I have it mostly planned, but as it gets closer, you know, I could change the plans a little bit. Um, a ton of movie reviews, a couple game reviews, a timeline, and a couple Untold Legends. So I'm working on a lot of the stuff. I'm going to focus on a lot of it in July. So that's why I say in July, you might see a little bit of a slowdown in uploads, aside from live streams, just because I want to get that stuff ready. But, um, yeah, there's a lot. <laughs> I'm about to die. I'm trying to get behind this tree. Sorry I'm late. I was sleeping. Welcome, welcome, uh, Lego. You can download games from PS Now to any PlayStation, but not to PC. Oh, so from PlayStation Now, you can actually download the games? But do you... So is it like a... See, I've never used it. Do you have to pay monthly for PlayStation Now, or is it like per game kind of thing? I'm way too far from these guys. I have PS Now. There's about 15 games available for download. See, okay, what I don't understand, though, what's the difference between downloading it from PlayStation Now... And just downloading it from the PlayStation Store digital. I don't understand. Or is it the fact that you can download a game... Oh, I get it. So, you can download PS3 games and play them on your PS4. I guess that would be the idea. How many Schwarzenegger musicals have you watched? Musical? I've never seen a Schwarzenegger musical. <laughs> I would love to. I'm ashamed to say Unless you get, where is it that he does Hamlet? Was that a uh, last action hero? I hate every time you look at them, they like, they go like this. They go like this, a little bit to the left, a little bit to the right. Like, they start playing with you. Anyone know what chapter I'm on? Am I still on, what, chapter two or three? I feel like this one's kind of long, this chapter. Some of the chapters in this game are really short, though. Great stream. Thank you, little little starter bro. Welcome to the welcome to the Uncharted Golden Abyss stream. Monthly and not all games. 
Yeah, see, I don't know. I'll just, I'll just pay for a game. Nice try. I showed you Predator the musical. No, but I want like I want full blown like Arnold Schwarzenegger starring musicals like for movies like like the Terminator. Like I want Terminator 2 the musical starring the original cast. I'll watch that. Terminator 1 the musical starring the original. I mean they're a lot older now, so I I, I guess it wouldn't work, but still. Oh, shotgun. Oh, do I want that though? I like my sniper rifle. I mean, it's pretty much out of ammo, but still. I have the Turok and Turok 2 remasters on Xbox One. Yeah, it's funny. I, I always make fun of that game because it came out on PC, and then, like, two years later, it came out on Xbox One. I, I was waiting for it. And then, like, another year and a half later, I, my timing's all off, but you get the idea. Like, a year and a half, two years later, it came out on Switch, and suddenly everyone cares about it. I was like, wait a minute. That came out forever ago. I mean, even further back, if you want to, if you want to count N64, but yeah, the remasters have been out forever. But yeah, when it came out on Switch, that's when everyone started talking about it. Oh, that's not my Jeep. Easy, easy. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. It's Dante. God damn it! I almost peed myself. Just put your hands down. I'm not gonna shoot you, as much as I'd like to. Oh, that makes me feel all warm and fuzzy inside. Thanks. I wasn't talking to you. Huh? I was talking to them. Oh crap. Where are we? Now. Hey, you watch the There he is. Whatever you say. Typical Latin America, um, oh, South American general. And Senor. That's the villain. Nathan Drake. What are you playing on? Playing on the Vita. I am very confused. All hooked up via jailbroken USB. So we're streaming directly from the Vita. Stealing glyphs from my ruins. Like so many migrant workers just picking fruit. Look, I told them not to touch that Oh, shit, we got over 100 of you in here? Welcome. 105 of you. Awesome. Drop those likes if you're having a good time. Head up the road and get out of your way. Or not. And here I see your partner with yet another of your men. Man, they really got to okay, do a, a, a Vita so emulator. I took some folks up here today and I I've heard the Vita, the Vita is really hard to emulate, though, so I, I guess they're having issues with it, but... The PlayStation consoles in general are hard to emulate. Even the PS2 and PS1 emulators have been out for, like, ever. They're not, they're not perfect at all. And there's plenty of games that don't work right. Just some old bones, huh? Well, these are some very lovely old bones you found. I didn't know. No, like you know, there's a Turok animated movie. I own it. Yeah, Turok, Son of Stone. I got it way... It's like a Lionsgate animated movie. I got it ages ago when it came out. Never got a Blu-ray release either. It's really good. That's such a stereotype to have every Latin American person in the media be a fat, evil dictator. Yeah. It, that that's no different in this game. He's the fat, evil South American, or I don't even know South American, Central American general. <laughs> that's who was also was in what? Uh, what was it the first Expendables? The guy from Dexter. He also played um, the Angel from Dexter. He played uh, he played the 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 Central American general. Great, the pack's gone. What else did they take? Shit, Fabian, you didn't say you played Garo? Wait, what do you mean I played Garo? What's that? Is that smoke? Great. Just pile it on, I can take it. Alright, what chapter is this? Is this four? Chapter four. Why is the building on fire? Anything yellow, you can step on. That's like the color in this game, because get a golden abyss. So anything that's like yellow or gold, you can climb it. I'm not interested in streaming games. That's why I'll never get Stadia. It, it's funny, because when people when people talk about Stadia, I, I, I have to think for a second, because sometimes I legitimately forget that Stadia exists. Like, I completely forget it's a thing. Um, I wonder how much longer it's going to last. Stadia is absolutely failing. Like, if you look at the numbers... Oh shit! And the actual releases they're getting like they 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 have um you gotta have good exclusives for something like that to to succeed. You can't just put a bunch of old games on it and expect people to just jump on board, you know. 
some will always jump on board, but not enough for, to sustain it as a as a business. But um, like they have like Serious Sam that's going to be exclusive for a time. It's like okay, everyone's just going to wait to buy it on console or PC. <laughs> like that's what's going to happen. That's what I'm going to do. Uncharted 1 had Lewis from Resident Evil 2 as the villain. Um, Uncharted 2... Wait, Lewis... You mean Resident Evil 4? Not Resident Evil 2. Uncharted 2 had stereotypical Russian dude. Uncharted 3 had British Hillary Clinton as the villain. Oh my god, you're right though. And Uncharted 4 had, um... Oh, who was it in Uncharted 4? I don't... Oh man, I don't remember his name. Um... That little whiny rich guy. Damn, I, I don't remember his name now. I gotta replay it again. Oh, machete. Damn touch controls. Alright. I got just the thing for this. Huh. I'm glad Nathan Drake is retired. I hate to see Sully getting a pitching wedge embedded in his skull. There will be a stadia section in Summer Gaming Fest. Yeah, but I, I don't I don't know. I, I can see two or three years from now, Stadia's gonna be long gone. I could be wrong. Yeah, Shit, it could overpass consoles, I don't know. But, I just don't see it. I don't see it. I, I don't see the... There, there has to be a market for it. There has to be a demand. I don't think... When Stadia came out, I don't think there was demand or a market for that kind of service. Like, for example, like, what's going to get a player, and you can argue I'm not the demographic, fine, but what's going to get people like me that primarily play console games to jump over to Stadia, you know? Like, why, what's the benefit for me? That I, that I could play it on my 5-inch phone? <laughs> you know? Like, what's the benefit? Um, and also, I've heard the argument that, well, PC players will like it because... They don't have to worry about upgrading their PCs. But from my own personal experience and knowing people that are primarily PC gamers, PC players typically enjoy customizing their PC oh, and upgrading it. Like, at the same time of it being necessary, it's also kind of a hobby they enjoy doing, you know? So I don't, I don't really see that as a selling point. Like, oh, you don't have to upgrade your PC. Well, some people like to do that. It's like it's like it's like getting a car and then like upgrading it, you know, with, with Nas like in Fast and the Furious, and then hit that button to go turbo. Oh, there we go. Typical Uncharted moments. Everything collapsing around you, and you should die, but you don't. Nadine was boring, though. I didn't care for her as a character. That that's probably why I don't care for the Lost Legacy as much, because I thought she was already a boring character. I try to create a diversion. Got a little out of hand. Yeah, you could say that. So what happened at the dig site? That last thing I remember Actually, I was oops. beating up the butt of Guero's pistol. Let me get that away real quick. Oh. Looks like you tried the same stunt. Yeah, it's nothing. Guero took me into his office for a little game of twenty questions. Pulled up my sub counter for a minute. That bad. So much for a soldier's code of honor, huh? Yeah. When it was Dante's turn, I managed to escape. Dante? Where is he? They still have him. Show me That's the villain from chart. Ra Rafi? Rafi? Come on. Alder? See, I don't remember that name at all. Still has my I haven't played it since Look, it came out. Leaving without it. Are you kidding? Look, Final Battle was cool, though. I remember that. Drop him a nice note. Maybe you You're inside that ship or whatever, and everything's on fire. I'm serious. Yeah, I bet you are. Oh, crap. Looks like your diversion worked a little too well. I don't suppose you have a gun. Nathan Drake don't playing Crash Bandicoot. Guns. You know what pissed me off? Guns. About that, um... The, the, the little uh, Crash Bandicoot Easter egg in Uncharted 4, one of my friends was playing the game and he was ahead of me and he told me about it before. I was so mad because, oh see, look how short that chapter was. I was so pissed off because when that happened, I was like, oh, well, that would have been really exciting except that someone already spoiled it for me. Like, don't spoil shit for people. I'll take that. Come on, down here. Nadine is meh. I'm trying to get into the Lost Legacy, but I feel the same way. Drake is uncharted. Yeah. That's how I felt about Lost Legacy. Good game, the gameplay wise. Gameplay wise, it plays really well. It plays like Uncharted. I just don't feel it has that. It doesn't have that personality that makes Uncharted Uncharted, you know? 
And for that, I think you do need Drake. Coot four three, just subscribe. Welcome to the channel. Appreciate you. I'm horrible at pronouncing your names, by the way. <laughs> when I see them pop up, and I'm on a I'm on a timer, so I'm trying to read them, and they're gonna go away in a couple seconds. <laughs> Don't be so slow playing games then. I don't no. know. It takes me a while to get into some games. Tap, tap, tap. Too slow. Down, up. You got a gun? Where's your gun? Oh, here's one. It's gotten really bad. Godzilla vs. Kong doesn't even have a trailer yet and already leaks. Fuck spoiler code. Yeah, I and it's it's it kinda sucks too having a like having a YouTube channel because some people they'll they'll like I can't think of anyone here in chat that does it, but I've had people um, message me with random things I don't want to know. <laughs> you know? Like without even labeling it, just telling me like, oh you heard about this, and I'll be like, No. <laughs> like why 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 I don't like someone told me about and I, I won't say it. I won't say it because I don't want to spoil anything. But someone sent me something once about King Kong vs. Godzilla, some toy set or something that got leaked that spoils an important part of the movie. I don't know how true it is, but I just I don't want to know that stuff. Like, I want to go into movies like without... like For example, trailers. Movie trailers. I rarely watch movie trailers now after, like, the first two. I want to cut myself. If that. Oh, damn it. Now I got a zigzag touchscreen controls. Like, for example, Last Jedi, I had a very... Not Last Jedi. Rise of Skywalker. I actually think I might have enjoyed that movie more because I stayed away from trailers. Because I had everyone and their mother telling me about the trailers and judging the trailers. I saw that first opening teaser trailer, and then I, I purposely went in blind. I avoided everything else. I didn't want to know any spoilers. I didn't want to know anything about the movie. I didn't watch any more trailers. I just went in after watching the teaser, so I had no expectations. And I honestly think that contributed to why I enjoyed that movie. Because when you watch too many trailers and listen to spoilers online, naturally you're going to start forming your own predispositions and your own opinions of the movie before you watch it. But what if you take that away and just go in completely blind and tune out the static of the internet? It makes a huge difference. You'd be surprised. It makes a huge difference to an experience playing a video game or watching a movie. And to me, I, I kind of feel that's what happened in Rise of Skywalker, and I genuinely enjoyed that movie. Plot holes and all, because there were plenty of them, and the story was, was fairly weak. But I still had a great time with that movie, not having any expectations. Shoot him! See him. Oh no, you better get away with that shot. Oh, hell no. Nope! I tried swiping up, and the grenade didn't go anywhere. No! <laughs> Yeah, I, I gotta learn how to throw the grenades back. I'm not exactly sure. What are you looking forward to most when you play Ghost of Tsushima? I don't know. I, I don't have any expectations for way. it. Like, I, I kind of feel like it's going to be very Assassin's Creed-like, but it might not be. Um, I, I just I just don't want to feel like I'm playing Sekiro again because I want a very different experience, so we'll see. Oh! <laughs> I, I rolled right into that one. Pronunciation Patrol, Cannon Police, and the Spoiler Squad. I haven't had too many run-ins with the Spoiler Squad on the actual channel yet, but I'm way. sure they'll pop up. Keeps getting worse. We've gone from leaks weeks before something out to come... From leaks a week before something comes out to years before. Exactly. You know where it was really bad? Uh, every Marvel movie, and I purposely stayed away from this too, but like every Marvel movie, like... Infinity War and Endgame, you'd have all those Lego sets that got leaked online at, like, toy fairs, like, a year before the movie. That would spoil entire scenes, and it's like, whoa, no, I don't care if it's a toy set, like, I don't want to see it. Like, I don't care if there's a toy set of Captain Marvel grabbing the gauntlet from Thanos while Captain America has Thor's hammer, like, I don't want to see that toy. <laughs> I don't know if there's a toy like that. I'm just giving a generic example of the kind of the kind of things that happen. How big of a difference did it make for Dark Fate? Um, 
Dark Fate. Did I wa hold on? Did I watch the trailers for Dark Fate? I you see. Well, so for Dark Fate, I told you, Dark Fate's an outlier. That it doesn't matter had I watched spoilers or not for Dark Fate or trailers. When I saw that movie, and I said after the first ten minutes, after the first like five minutes, there nothing, nothing would have made me like that movie. It, it would have been impossible. <laughs> so that one. That doesn't count when it comes to anything. Any argument or debate we have on the channel, Dark Fate is an outlier. Still haven't seen Rise of Skywalker, don't judge me. I figure a lot of people have. I mean, if you're huge in the Star Wars, you probably have. I liked it a lot, but I also recognize that... Like, people like to pi point out all the, all the flaws in the story. Yeah, there's a lot of them. I agree. <laughs> there's plenty of them. I think Tsushima is going to be more like infamous. You choose how the game plays. Yeah, I'm really excited about that. I want to be able to like change all the different armor pieces and stuff to make my guy look different. I think you can to a point. I, I just don't know how deep it goes. They're going now. There's something gold for me to climb. If you look at the fire, that's where you can tell it's a handheld. Look at that. Pixelated fire graphics. At this point, I'm sure most of these leaks are calculated marketing moves. Um, I mean, maybe sometimes. Like, for example, like the Last of Us 2 situation. That was actually, they found out who it was. And it was people that actually um, had nothing to do with Naughty Dog. They weren't, they thought it could have been employees, but it wasn't. It was people that hacked some kind of server at Naughty Dog and, and leak the files. Like, overall, it's, it's just it's a shitty thing to do. Because like I said, you're just all you're doing is ruining it for people that do care. J.J. Abrams butchered two sci-fi franchises should be ashamed of himself. See, I like what he did with Star Trek, though. Star Trek fans hate me when I say that, but I'm not a Star Trek fan. <laughs> so that's probably why I liked it. Like, I really, I've, I've always thought Star Trek was the boring Star Wars. I've never liked Star Trek when I was a kid. I just never got into it. I couldn't. I was a Star Wars kid. I still am. But J.J. Abrams' Star Trek movies, like, I think those are fun. I like them. But yeah, I, I recognize that old school Star Trek fans probably hate it. So I, I guess I would be the demographic for what he did. Haven't seen all of Rebels or the last season of Clone Wars. I would recommend it because there's one scene that if you really pay attention, um, I'll say it acknowledges Rebels and, and Clone Wars. I, I thought that was really cool. Nate, it's a very quick, men. like, you Nate. know, blink and you'll miss Nate. it scene, but I'm up. I, I like that they're starting to acknowledge those animated projects more. Especially, like, if you look at Star Wars Squadrons, like, um, Hera's in there, and she, like, gives you missions and stuff. That's so cool to me. I, I liked her in Rebels. Star Trek is not Star Wars. No, it's not at all. But that's why I never liked it. Like, I liked how Star Wars was. Star Trek was, to me, it was the boring version of, of space stuff. You know? But I enjoyed what they did with the new ones. Chase. Okay. This way. You ever notice on the Spider-Man Far From Home trailer, they show Peter talking to some cops and webbing up criminals, but when the movie came out, those scenes weren't there? Yeah. Um, that's common though, because you got to keep in mind when they get early trader, trader, trailer footage. A lot of it's from an unfinished version of the movie, so scenes can get cut. Um, so because I, I know a lot of that from talking with my my cousin, who's an actual, he's an actual cameraman out in Hollywood. Like he worked on the Transformers movies. He he worked on that Mayan show. Um, so he he has a lot of those behind the scenes people that he works with editors and stuff to get all the footage. And he tells me things get cut all the damn time, like after trailers are already made. Uh, but it, it's funny, too, because if you... Do you guys remember Amazing Spider-Man 2? If that trailer... The trailer footage was hey, very different. what'd you find? Uh, there's a lot of stuff in the trailers for Amazing Spider-Man 2 that just wasn't in the movie at all. Um, look at Rogue One. There's the scene where um, she... At the end, when she's with Krennic and she's, she's transmitting the data up in space... Um, there's supposed to be a scene in, the, in one of the trailers where a TIE fighter came and started shooting at her. Um, Look, they're down there. That didn't happen in the movie. 
the when the when the Tie Fighter came up and was like zooming in on her, you guys remember that from the trailer? That wasn't the movie, right? But um, that's a common thing. That's why you gotta be careful with trailers. Sometimes they'll 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 kind of BS you, for lack of a better word. My problem with Dark Fate was that nothing was really explained. I'm going to kill you. I I think a lot of it was explained. I just didn't like it. <laughs> I absolutely hated it. Like all you're gonna do is re they they remade Terminator 2 with girls. Like no, I'm not one of those people that anytime I, I and there are people like this. Anytime they see a female get cast in a role that's typically male, they flip out. I, I usually don't care. But when you remake the same movie and you're just telling the same story but changing the genders to girls, like I mean, come on. Like that's the same problem that Ghostbusters had. Like you you've just remade the same movie. Like what was the point of that? Make a completely fresh story. That's not what happened. Cause if you look, if you watch Dark Fate, there's a lot of T2 in there, a lot of it. Yeah, a lot of the same story beats. Most trailer footage is left out of movies. Yes, very much so. Some movies more than others. Actually, some studios more than others. Like you'll be watching a movie and you'll be like, wait a minute, that's not how it happened in the trailer. Goodbye. Oh fuck! Take cover. <laughs> Saw the Han Solo movie, not bad. I really like that movie. I like that movie a lot. Um, it's sad because that movie really suffered from the uh, Last Jedi Fallout. Um, I, I genuinely like that movie. I thought it was very well done. It was very good. Shit. The only thing I didn't like about that movie was that droid. Um, I'll be honest, I like Jar Jar Binks better than that droid. I thought that droid was really obnoxious. I, I didn't find the droid entertaining. It, every every line that droid said was usually an eye roll. At least Jar Jar Binks was purposely there, like, for the kiddies. Like, yeah, he's a kid character. He's a character for the kids. I get it. I, I don't know who that droid was for. I, I don't even remember her name. I just don't even care. The droid that becomes the Falcon, essentially. The trailer for Infinity War showed, showed the Hulk in Wakanda. Oh, yeah, I remember that. And there was no Hulk there. That's true. That's funny. Then the Hulk... Then the Hulk ghost... Yeah, it's probably because they, they want didn't want people to start asking, like, hey, where's the Hulk? How are you playing the Vita on your monitor mod cable? No, you can jailbreak the Vita to transmit uh, video through USB. So it's just the regular USB charging cord hooked up to the uh, PC. Just like any console. The magic of technology. Fuck. I'm low on ammo. I never knew this game existed, but I love the other Uncharted games, and you probably like this one. Because the thing I like about this one, it doesn't feel like I'm playing a handheld Uncharted most of the time. It just feels like another Uncharted game. Like, it feels like if this came out on PS4 with better graphics, like, it would feel right at home. With the rest of the series. I gotta say, crushing difficulty in this game is not that bad. This is the first time I played it on crushing, and this one it's not overly difficult. Up. Nice try, fellas. Hell yeah. The droid in Rogue One was the best character. Come on, over here. Wait, I didn't say Rogue One, did I? If I did, I meant Solo. The droid in Solo. You don't know, no, the droid in row one, K2SO, yeah, I loved him. He was a really well done character. I I was talking about the one in Solo. That character I hated. I remembered Black Panther in the trailer, he was wearing a Civil War suit, then in the movie he was wearing the upgrade and the camera shot change. I think a lot of it did it to avoid spoilers, though. Um, but yeah, the Hulk thing with Infinity War, I specifically remember that. I think they did it to keep people from questioning where the Hulk is. Well, it's funny, though, because that was done on purpose. Um, the directors of Infinity War actually said beforehand, they said a lot of the trailer footage they showed, they said a lot of it isn't in the actual movie, and they did it on purpose because they wanted to avoid spoilers. I think that's a pretty cool marketing move, because you got to think, Infinity War, I mean, everyone's going to go see it. doesn't matter what you do in the trailer. No one's going to see the trailer and be like, mm, I'm not going to go see that one. If you saw the other Marvel movies, your ass was going to be in that theater watching Infinity War and Endgame. Or at least the majority of the people. So they did whatever the hell they wanted to with the trailers. 
The trailers were there just to let you know it was coming. That's all. This game is very fun. Very much shoot vibes. What was that droid that Lando sleeps with? <laughs> that he sleeps with. Yeah, that's the droid I'm talking about. Is this a short game? Um... I, I wouldn't say short. It's a little shorter than its count, its console counterparts, but it's not an overly short game. Uh, I think, what, there was like 30 chapters or something when I looked? Um, I'm on chapter 4, and I've been streaming two hours, so... It, it's as long as it should be. I just want Black Widow to come out. Man, I was excited about that one, because I, I, like, I like a lot of the characters in it. Taskmaster's in it. Taskmaster is in it. Um, Red Guardian's in it. There's a lot of cool Marvel characters in it. The second Black Widow's in it. Uh, Yelena Bulova. So, that's really cool. Um, I kind of wish, instead of delaying it, they would have given it a Disney Plus release. I don't mind just watching it at home. I, I wanted to see it. The Rogue One droid was in Jedi Fallen Order. Yeah, there's a bunch of them, and they're annoying. They toss you around like a little bitch. <laughs> I think it's time we finished our... Bring him! Look, but I know you're just following orders. But if you touch me again, <laughs> I'm breaking your goddamn fingers. Break your goddamn fingers. Move. Switch needs a Tomb Raider game to fill the void of a third person action player game alive. akin to Uncharted. When yeah, I don't. I don't know if the Switch can really handle all the, uh, the newer Tomb Raider games. The... Never mind. Unless they do significant downgrades to it. Can talk his way out of anything. Yeah, I get that. Okay, Guero's headquarters are up that way. Wish they didn't announce Godzilla vs. Kong after just one movie, Let Skull Island and King of the Monsters shows. I agree with that. Because the after credit scene in King of the Monsters where it hints at uh, upcoming Kong appearance, I would have shit my pants in the theater. But I already knew there was a, a Kong vs. Godzilla movie. I agree with that. They spoil everything. Oh, 34 chapters. Yeah, so, yeah, I wouldn't say it's a short game then. What if they tease Colossus in Black Widow? Wait, what do you mean? Colossus from X-Men? Nah, I don't I don't think we're gonna have any X-Men references in, in Black Widow. Marvel it is confirmed that Marvel knows like what's going on with X-Men as of right now. They have it planned out. We just don't know it. So I, I'm excited to see how they're gonna introduce X-Men. Damn it, I could have gone down there and stealthed it. Face! Oh! Uh, bad idea. Bad idea. Bad idea. Oh, I'm so dead. <laughs> I thought I could go down there and just like just kung fu everyone. After Friday, Fabian's no longer a fan of King Kong and wants Godzilla to win. See, but by the time that movie comes out, I will have time to recover. I'll have time to recover from my um, hatred of apes. I, I think. I think we'll see. Unemployment finally came in. How long did it take you? It's funny because I have two friends that applied for that pandemic assistance. One of them got it like in two weeks. And the other one's still waiting and he applied two weeks ago. Or two months ago. Um, almost. So I think they're like super backed up. At least in the state of Florida. State of Florida is not known to um, handle any government related services for people uh, well. We, we kind of don't handle anything well. Except tourism and trying to make money. Someone once tried to sue a theater and get a refund because a scene from a trailer wasn't in the movie. What the hell does that have to do with the theater? They just play the movie that they get sent. That's so stupid. What the hell is your problem? Oh, son of a bitch. Oh, they killed their own dude. Okay. <laughs> Assholes. See, there was no strategy. They just ran up here and chucked a grenade. It's messed up, man. I would have lost it at the end credits for Skull Island when they showed Godzilla and company cave paintings about Aaron you. Me too. I was still excited to get the confirmation, but it, it... Yeah, I agree. It's a completely different feeling when you have no idea and you're like, Oh, shit, is that Kong? Like, it's a very different feeling. And, and you can't quite recapture that. Once it's spoiled, like that's it. It's done. Look at him, look at him, look at him, look at him. He's just coming up here. What kind of strategy is that? Like, oh, let me walk right up to him. Oh, great grenades. Ah! 
Oh, she would have been dead. Oh, I'm about to be. Move! Oh, you stupid bitch. She got in my way. She got in my way. Would have been cool if at the end of Endgame, the post credit scene would show a hand popping up with claws coming out of it. They could explain mutants as an after effect for Tony Snap. Um, when you were describing that, all I was thinking about was the end of um, Jason Goes to Hell when Freddy Krueger's claw comes out and grabs Jason's mask. That was my original, like, I'm excited for this crossover happening moment. Um, I agree with you. I've actually debated this with my friends, like, how would you introduce X-Men? And I thought it would have been cool having, like... And, and Spider-Man in the um, trailer for Spider-Man Far From Home, which this part wasn't in the movie either, when um, they explained that Thanos, when Thanos snapped, it opened up the fabric of reality or something and created holes and dimensions, um, which, again, they never actually said that in the movie. That was only in the trailer. But I thought it would have been a cool explanation if... Because if you look at Endgame, when Thanos snaps the second time to destroy the Infinity Gems, um, they, they know that because they picked up some kind of, like, radiation wave. Oh, shit. Hold on. There we go. Yeah, but they detected some kind of, like, energy signal coming from the planet he was on, from Titan. Well, what if that, what if that wave of energy mutated people's DNA? You know, and, and mutants started appearing. That would have been a really cool explanation. The only the only big question mark about that is, though, how can you do that and still have Wolverine? Because if you do Wolverine, you, you, you don't want to change his origin too much. You still want him to be that mutant that's been around for a long time. So he, he would be the one character that's like, ah, that kind of fucks up him, though. You know? So I, I guess mutants can't be... I, I guess the snap can't be the only cause for mutant kind, because then you'd have to change some core characters like Wolverine and Magneto. I, I have no idea how they're going to explain the X-Men uh, without going into some alternate universe stuff. I don't know. I'm very curious. I don't want to know until I see the movies, but I, I'm very curious how they're going to handle it. Uh, and I want to see how they're going to handle Doctor Doom, because that, that, that has to happen. More turquoise. Who would you choose as a new Wolverine? I don't know. And, you know, I've thought about this. <laughs> All I can think of is Hugh Jackman, because he's so... He's so much Wolverine in my mind that I can't picture anyone else. And that's the downside when you have such a good actor in a role that it, it's hard to... I, I would want them to be an unknown at this point, because if it's any actor that's well-known... I, I don't know if I'm going to be able to see him as Wolverine. I, I think they should pick someone unknown. Kind of like they did with Spider-Man, you know? Tom Holland, he just... No one really knew who he was. I came down a ladder here. Technically, Magneto was in the MCU before the Fox-Disney merger. I mean, if... If... If you're talking about Scarlet Witch's and Quicksilver's connection, if that wasn't a lie, sure... But in that in the MCU, they don't have anything to do with Magneto. Which I hope they retcon. I want them to retcon that. To, yeah, to talk. I know you want you want Rogue to put Carol Danvers away. I want to see that too, actually, because that that would be right in line with the X Men comics. I remember that those episodes were so cool. The ones where like Carol Danvers was in a, she was in like a coma in the hospital, and then Rogue was like reliving. Uh, taking her memories and stuff, and she'd go visit her in the hospital. That was actually really interesting. You guys think they're going to kill Chris Redfield off in Resident Evil 8? Because in the trailer, they make it sound like it's his final game. They also did in Revelations. Don't trust the trailers, I'll say that. I, I, know, I know a little bit more um, about the Resident Evil 8 story. Some minor details um, that, that I don't know really this guy. That I'm not really at the liberty to, um, what's the word, divulge, I guess. Um, but uh, yeah, just, I, I'll leave it at that. Just don't trust the trailer. Um, one example I like to use regularly is Resident Evil Revelations. When the first trailer for that, watch the very first trailer for it. E3 20, I don't remember when it came out. E3, like the year or something before it came out. 
Um, in that trailer, they have literally him and Jill in a face-off, pointing guns at each other. And they're over, like, a mannequin of him. And, and they make it seem very heavily that he he became some kind of rogue agent. None of that was in the game. And the scene in question actually ended up her looking for Chris because he was missing there. And when she found him in the boat, it was a mannequin and it was trapped by this terrorist group. So, yeah, don't don't trust the Resident Evil trailer. Uh, yeah, the stuff you're seeing in the trailer is in the game, but the story is going to be very different from what the, uh, the the trailer is painting. I don't know where I'm going. Pick me up. I'm like a kid asking to be picked up by his mom. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No? Maybe this way. So It's funny because someone already yelled at me in the comment section for my Resident Evil trailer video. Because apparently, um, <laughs> apparently I said the molded creature. Well, this person, their comment was enraged in capital letters and exclamation marks saying, how dare I say that the molded creatures are going to be back from Resident Evil 7 when I don't know what I'm talking about. And that Capcom hasn't officially confirmed anything and I'm spreading fake news. And I'm like, first of all, I never said the molded creatures are going to be back. Those words never came out of my mouth. I think I mentioned that the mold is returning in the storyline in some way. Um, which is true, but I never said the mold creatures from Resident Evil 7 are going to be back. That's putting words in my mouth. That's not at all what I said. But yeah, I already had someone get mad over it. It's like, just wait till the game comes out and then recomment later. Please. I, I would really like you to do that. What are your thoughts on the Hellblade reboot? I haven't watched it. I want to see it. Um, I only know of one person out of like six people I know that saw it that liked it. Everyone else literally said it was garbage. I'll watch it sometime because I like Hellboy. I don't know anything about the comics. All I know about Hellboy is from the movies. A mutated version of the mold is probably what made all the monsters in RE8. Um, well, I can't say expect some form of airborne influence from the mold um, is more the direction I'm trying to explain. Not... Yes, the exact same creatures you saw in Resident Evil 7 are going to be in Resident Evil 8. That's not at all what I said. Where am I supposed to go? I hate when I get lost in these stupid little sections. In Captain America First Avenger, when Cap liberates the concentration camp, a little boy helps him open a cell door by using magnetic powers. The boy tells Cap his name is Eric Lencher. Wait, no, you're not talking about Captain America. You're not. You're talking about X-Men Evolution. That happened in X-Men Evolution. I saw that because I, I like that episode. That's one of my favorite episodes. Okay, seriously, what the hell? How did that kill me? <laughs> that was not. That was not death worthy. Oh, that's some bullshit. Goblin, what's up, man? You guys seem like the right crowd for this. Who else wants a Splatterhouse remake? Oh, by the way, I like your Decepticon uh, avatar. But, um, yeah, Splatterhouse remake, that's one of the ones I'm trying to fit into my Halloween schedule. Because I never finished the remake. And I got that on Xbox 360 ages ago, and it's really good. I would love that. <coughs> LOL, you don't know Hellboy till you read the comics, but the Del Toro movies are good. Yeah, I don't know anything about the comics. No. I My introduction to Hellboy was Fire's the Del Toro movie, and I liked it. Of course it, it is. All right, wait there. I Find see Jason Voorhees. I can't help but think of Spider. Oh, of course. Put me back here again. Lights out, boys. See, you didn't need to get shot in the head. You chose to get shot in the head. Try going under that shack. Okay, under the shack. Here, this is where I went. I went this. Oh wait, did I have to keep going? Yeah, here we go. I tried climbing up there for nothing. See, look, this is what I said. You gotta look for yellow or gold in this game. Favorite Spider-Man actor? Mine's Josh Keaton from Spect... Oh, you're talking about the cartoon? <sighs> Alright, here, here's my thing. Um, I grew up in the 90s with Spider-Man comics. That was my Spider-Man. So, my Spider-Man... I, I don't think any actor has perfectly represented my Spider-Man. Um, they've all represented different ones that were all good in their own way, but my Spider-Man was the one that he had graduated from college, he was married to Mary Jane, he was an adult, he was an established superhero that like the rest of the superhero community respected. Like, 
I, I think they're developing Tom Holland into that Spider-Man over time. But so far, I, I have not seen that Spider-Man. So when I see that Spider-Man on screen, fully developed, that, that'll that be my favorite one. Um, as a character, Spider-Man 2099 is my favorite. Hell yeah. X-Men Evolution was the jam back in the day. Yep. That um, episode where uh, it's a flashback, and it's the episode where Magneto he reveals that he uses this chamber to keep his youth. And he's dying, and, and he ages rapidly if he doesn't use it regularly. Um, they have a flashback where Captain good. America saves him Not during good. World War II. So I thought that was really cool. And I, I would have loved if they did that in the movies. But yeah, that, that's a scene from the X-Men Evolution cartoon. It's awesome. It's the only episode Captain America was in. And uh, he's kept... Oh, and the Super Soldier Serum in the X-Men Evolution universe is slowly killing him. So he's just frozen in shield since World War II. And Nick Fury, um, this is back when we still had white Nick Fury too. It was James Bond Nick Fury, not Sammy J Nick Fury. But uh, Nick Fury lets, lets Wolverine visit Captain America and they were apparently really close friends during the war. I want all of that in the MCU. Do it. I don't even care if it doesn't fit anymore. I just want it. Oh shit. Oh no. Oh no. Wait. No, come on. See, don't don't come to <gasps> Son of a bitch. I'm stuck up here. Wait, go other side. Other side. <laughs> oh man. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. Toby's the best. I said Toby Maguire. I'll probably get hate for this, but he was my least favorite. He was alright back in the day, but I don't, I don't know. He, he never felt like Peter Parker to me. I honestly like Andrew Garfield more than Topher Grace. Not Topher Grace. Topher Grace was uh, Venom. Oh, God. I gotta be careful. I gotta, I gotta take these guys out before they crawl under me like that. Oh, hell yeah. Headshot. Okay. Is there no one else? Oh, there's someone. No! No! No, they're coming. They're coming under me. No. Ah! Ah! Oh, see, no. Th this is. They they better not come behind me now. I gotta heal up. Headshot. Oh. I was close. By the way, has anyone seen that Bloodshot movie? What, is it called Bloodshot? The one with uh, Vin Diesel? That superhero movie? I don't know anything about the character. I remember him from the 90s, but I, I don't know anything about him. I wonder if that movie's any good. I kind of want to check it out. What do you think about Miles Morales from Spider-Verse? Um, that movie and um, PS4 Spider-Man is what made me like the character of Miles Morales. I never really liked him before that. But those movies made me really fall in love with the character. I like him a lot. <laughs> Don't speak of Spider-Man 3. Hugh Jackman and Patrick Stewart frustrated their X-Men never became part of the MCU. Yeah, I would have loved it, but I, I mean, at the same time, I understand it, because you kind of... I guess you kind of want to separate it, because the MCU is really doing its own thing. I mean, I think if they incorporated the, the Fox X-Men, it would create a lot of little plot holes all over the place. I, I don't think it would work. Finally, I have something other than a damn handgun. Oh, and a shotgun. There we go. Bloodshot. Is that what I said? Yeah, Bloodshot. I want to see that. Although, to be honest, the trailer didn't look that great to me, but I still want to check it out. Damn, this frame rate. This frame rate's dropping like crazy. Ah! That's when it reveals its handheld, uh... Its handheldness. Wait, 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 wait. I'm worried they're gonna try to like come up here. Hey! No! Alright. Oh my god. That blind fire did nothing for me. 
Alright, I'm taking this son of a bitch out. Let's get it. I gotta wait to heal. Here, right here, I'll heal. Oh, is that an explosive? Haha! <laughs> Idiot! As a bad guy in a video game, you cannot stand to any red containers. That's a terrible idea. How did that dude survive that? There. Reload. Reload! I can't believe how much PS3 showing a tape. This is not PS3, this is PlayStation Vita. <laughs> this is legit from a, a PlayStation Vita console. It is not PS3. Have you seen the post credit scene of spider -Man? Yeah, I own it. Um, it. That scene was hilarious. And the sequel is absolutely going to have 2099. They hinted, if you look at all the clues um, in the original Spider-Verse movie, they heavily hint at Spider-Man 2099 being a core part of the plot behind the scenes. Even up to... The, just, just look at the spider that bit Miles. That's all you need to know. It's very heavily influenced by 2099's universe. Like, I think... I think Spider-Man 2099 is heavily involved in the creation of Miles Morales. In that movie. We just don't know it yet. That, that's my theory. Because of, of what the movie showed us. Bloodshot's okay, I saw it. Just an average action movie. That's about what I expect from it. As long as it's just a generic action movie, I'll, I'll probably enjoy it. It's a one-time watch. Okay. She just said I came through here. Oh my god. I know what... It Look at this. And this was not happening before, I don't think. Someone correct me if I'm wrong. Look what happens when I walk by this door. This little icon pops up that you have to touch. Alright, here we go. The patience. The patience that you have to have for these gimmicky ass controls. I swear that didn't pop up before because I would have seen it. I, I just saw it now. Right, go. God, it weighs a ton. Wow. It's not gonna move. Wow. <sighs> did anyone else see that before? I swear I did not see that before. <laughs> it's such, oh my God. That's such BS. That's such BS. Would you put that away? What? Why? Didn't I say it was going to be something easy? Space. I said that. Acetone. Great. Yeah, just breathe too hard and the whole place goes up. Garbage. Nice. Okay, come on. This way. See <laughs> why you do this to yourself? At least it wasn't a giant headless gorilla with another gorilla minion. I, I would take this any day over another gorilla minion. <laughs> Game designer, all right? Seven. He cut a deal. That chapter should have been over 20 minutes ago. Soldiers. All I had to do was go by the door and swipe. Why couldn't they program something in? Like, sh I don't know. Say, have her program a line if you're taking too long and be like, Drake, come here, open this door. Or, Drake, you're taking too long. Get back here. Instead, she's just sitting there like... She's sitting there with her thumb up her ass and you're running around jumping everywhere trying to figure out what to do. Got a 60-inch TV the other day and a Lazy Boy sofa for 50 which is dirt cheap. Damn. <laughs> That's really good. Oh, God. Oh, I gotta be stealthy. I wanted, I wanted to kill them in my own way. Don't make me use stealth. I wanted to use guns. <laughs> Come on, I can take them all out with my guns. Here. Oh, they saw me. Okay, good. Here. Now I can use my guns. <laughs> this is what I wanted. Stealth. What am I playing? Assassin's Creed? Or Splinter Cell? Hello. Wait, let me get my AK. Don't climb up here. Don't! So I told you. I told you not to come up here. Explode! Ooh. Hell yeah, look at this. Ooh! <laughs> one shot. I love this gun. Oh, I'll have one more bullet, no one to kill. On I'll save it for myself. 
in case I get stuck at another checkpoint. I <laughs> wonder why Vita died. The dumbest thing possible it must have glitched. Maybe. It was a good thing I restarted the checkpoint. Did you try the Resistance game on Vita? Yeah, I 100 percented it. I have it on here. I plan to stream it, too. I, I like that game. That was fun. It wasn't as good as, like, the actual console ones, but it was pretty good. See, look. Now I know to open this door. Chase, Watch. Over here. See? Now I bet a little touch icon is going to show up. Oh, look. There it is. It just showed up. Come on. Give me a hand with this. <laughs> but I had to wait a second. Ready? Yep. All right. Go. Nathan Drake is no hidden on the heated ones. I am Bayek of Siwa. First idea was Manhunt Remake, but now that I think of it, the suffering would be better. I would love another... No, I want another Manhunt game, period. I think I told you guys this before. I've talked about this on stream, my fiancé, for some reason. For some illogical reason. I've never been able to get a straight answer, a straight answer from her. I really don't think she has one. Like, she hates that game and does not want me playing it. And she says just the idea. It's too violent. And I was like, but... Mortal Kombat 11 all these other violent games I've played. She's like, it's just different. I was like, you don't know what you're talking about. I could never get a legit reason to why. And I told her, I was like, you know I'm going to stream it Sunday, right? She's like, you better not. <laughs> I'm going to. Can't wait till I play AC Origins on the new TV and then afterwards Uncharted 4. I can't wait to stream Uncharted 4, but yeah, we're going to go in order. What I'll look man? in the dick. In the dick! You want a dick shot? Dick shot! Who else wants some? Hey, this is how I got down. Not as infuriating as Resistance Retribution. Oh God, no! That oh, God. Damn it! I was I, at least see with Resistance Retribution, I think so a lot of it had to do with the third person view they tried. Um, okay, so what now? Yeah, it's nowhere near as ridiculous. Wait here. It, it was an okay well, game. I'm not gonna lie, right. but on the hardest difficulty, like. Of course you will. Man, you're going to get arthritis playing Resistance Retribution, guaranteed. What do you want? Okay, what touch control do you want me to press now? Swipe left, press a button, like what? What? Swipe up? Got to be paranoid with these touch controls. Oh, here we go. Something to climb. I want a Street Sharks game. Oh, hell yeah. I want a Street Sharks 2D beat em up. Made by old school Konami. What's this? The general has a price on his head and it's highly unlikely he'll be captured alive. El General. I played a little bit of Manhunt and was not impressed with the gameplay, which is pretty much the story of me and Rockstar. Any. Manhunt, I thought, was a pretty good game. If you're talking about the gameplay now, it is a little dated. I'll agree with that. Back then, it was awesome. But yes, by today's standards, it's very dated. It's just something on Manhunt that makes it stand out from other violent games. See, I, not to me, though. Like, to me, it's just another violent game. I don't know. I'm kind of desensitized to that stuff, to be honest. Here we go. Ugh. Raised in a circus. I'm I was watching Street Sharks and Extreme Dinosaurs crossover event. I don't remember Extreme Dinosaurs. I don't remember that. I used to like uh, Dino Saucers. A lot of you probably don't remember that. Goblin, if you're in here, you're, I'm sure you remember Dino Saucers. Nate! Nate! I pressed up! Nate! Or I swiped up! Nate! I just, I don't think I swiped up in the middle of the screen. I think you have to be right in the middle of the screen. Damn touch controls. Her lazy ass isn't doing anything down here. I remember Dino Saucers. I loved it, man. The theme song was great. Dino Saucers. What's this? The Dino Saucers and their secret scouts fight the forces of uh, uh what was her name? Uh, Genghis Rex and the Tyrannos. <laughs> it's so stupid. I love it. Katana Gaming. Thank you for the uh, super chat. Uh, three euros, I think. Keep up the swiping action. I will. I will continue Nate. with the swipe. Oh, no. Swipe. Oh, God. There. Oh, God. I almost missed the middle swipe. Dino Saucers were brought up when they were the same toy company, I think. 
Yeah, and they they were gonna do a line of dino saucer toys, <laughs> and uh, they only came out in Brazil for some reason, and it just never took off over here. I also picked up Midsummer, A Quiet Place, and Halloween 2018. The witch is really creepy, by the way. That Midsummer movie was absolutely unsettling. I I don't even know why, because that's the kind of movie like. You don't even know how to explain it. You can't explain that movie. You just have to tell people to watch it. Like it, there's no explaining it. It's bizarre. I gotta heal. I also like Biker Mice from Mars. Absolutely, but the SNES game sucked. Cartoon was awesome, and so was SWAT Cats. Not many people know there was a dog-themed version of Street Sharks. Wait, what? A dog-themed version? I don't want to see that. Okay. The, the tilt mechanics. I, I you know, I, I wish I could disable all there should be an option to disable all gimmicky gestures. Like I, I already turned off the motion controls, but I can't turn off the tilting. Just let me use the joysticks. Oh, three pounds, it's British money? I I don't know. <laughs> but I still appreciate it. You know, I, uh, I can't tell the uh Euros from the, the pounds, I guess. King Arthur and the Knights of Justice as well. King Arthur and <gasps> That's the one where they were the football team, right? That got transported into the world of King Arthur and became the world of King Arthur. They were a football team. I'm pretty sure that's what that was. Why is it that whenever I hear a cry for Drake, I hear it as the classic snake? Because I die just as horribly. I love SWAT Cats. Yeah, SWAT Cats was cool. What were they called? The, Radi the Radical Squadron, I think? Oh, come on. I gotta climb that all over again now. Because I fell off that little, that little, that little, uh, that little tube. Give me a break. Captain N, the Game Master. I still, oh, damn. Rogue Dragon's gonna give me shit for that. Because <laughs> I've, I've been saying for, like, two years that I, I'm gonna review that show, and I still haven't done it. I, it's actually been right here in the top, in the left corner of my computer desk. Just sitting there yeah. since I bought it on eBay on DVD. I have not gotten to it yet. I, I'm going to review it. Just not putting a time frame. I, I'm going to get to it this year. I promise. A full review and a top 10 episode list. Go left. That way. Will you be making a video on your thoughts on Resident Evil 8? I did, actually. Uh, yeah, I made it when... Now, keep in mind, I, I don't make videos when, like, every time a rumor comes out. I just don't report on rumors because a lot of it's BS. Um, I wait till we get official news. But yeah, um, I'll probably end up making more. But yeah, I, I did make one about my thoughts. I also remember liking Mighty Max. I used to have the Happy Meals that were like little tiny, like little miniature play sets. That's like a big skull face and you open it up and there's little miniature figures in there. Shoot a vibes. Thanks for the super chat, man. Thanks for the two bucks. Have you played Bioshock and will you stream it? Yes, I will stream that chronologically also. I played those games religiously when they came out. I bought it on 360 and I bought the PS3 version because I liked it so much. Um, although I never finished two. I never finished that one. One and three I did. Um, and I had the remastered version. That's what I'll stream. Oh, here we go. Generic uh, Spanish evil general that kills his own men. There's, uh, some leadership skills you got there. Your men must love you. I do not seek their love. Only their respect. Oh, well, I bet you got that. Hey, what am I, invisible? General, there's still no sign of them. General! Search the entire camp. They cannot come far. Yes, sir. Hey, hey, we need them alive. I give the orders around here, Senor Dante, not you! Senor Dante. Oh. Unless you want to just keep pushing I remember in Captain N that Donkey Kong was some Australian hunter. You gotta start listening to me. Donkey Kong? And Mega Man sounded like... No, 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 no. Donkey Kong wasn't an Australian hunter. Donkey Kong had a shower cap and he was naked. The Australian hunter you're talking about, I think that was um, Crocodile Dundee. Okay, 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, Mega Man did sound like an 80-year-old smoker. Chase is holding out on us. We don't know what she don't know. And Drake, he found more up there in 10 minutes than the old man found in like 20 And also, um, Trevor Belmont is in it. Man. Not Simon. Simon is in it, but there's one episode where you see a grave with uh, Trevor Belmont's name on it, and it's just Simon Belmont's goofy-ass face with brown hair. It's so stupid. 
industrious Soldado Sanchez? He's looking very lonely. Me? Come on, why me? If you would have hired the kind of guys you don't have to Dante's a little bitch. Drake never would have escaped. In his younger days, you know who could have played Dante? Uh, and not Devil May Cry Dante, this Dante. You know who could have played him in a live action movie? Steve Buscemi in his older days. He's got that personality. Um, could you at least give us an approximate number on your backlog? <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> it's, it's eternal. That's the number. Eternal. Yeah, I'll, I'll say this. My backlog has been a backlog since the NES days. <laughs> Alright? So, <laughs> you do the math. Late 80s, early 90s. That's when it started forming and it never stopped. funny because when I was a kid my parents always told me as most parents of the era would tell the kids they would tell me like oh you're not going to care about all these video games when you're older you're just going to be into girls and you know your job and school work nope <laughs> it became worse than it's it's I like video games now more than I ever have and my backlog has just like I have a backlog to complete <laughs> you know it's never going to change different era though like, I was the first generation that grew up Chase, with video point. games as, like, literally part of your life. Hey. <laughs> like, it, it's, it's part of you. Nate, I'm ready. That was probably by you, Billy. You're thinking of croc not croc Did I say crocodile? I always oh, do that. I said crocodile, Dundee. Find another way to get no, yeah, I, I meant by you, Billy. I thought that's what I said. That's not the first time I've done that on stream. I always say Crocodile Dundee. Yeah, absolutely Bayou Billy is what I'm talking about. Oh God. There was a rope there! <laughs> I thought I could grab it. Damn it. Who do you think could play Dante's in the DMC version of the movie? I have no idea. Um, I don't know. Because, see, Dante's weird because... You want to have the voice. Without the Dante voice, it's just not going to be Dante, you know? So you need an actor that can replicate it. Not going to lie, if I can't get to the fun part in like 20 minutes, I ain't having it. So you wouldn't like Assassin's Creed Odyssey. <laughs> that, that'll take a couple hey, hours. Put the brake on. Have you watched Resident Evil trailer? It seems similar game to Resident Evil 7. Yeah, I did a whole video on it, actually. I recommend you check it out because I went into detail on uh, what to expect from the story. Um, it's going to be a bit different than Resident Evil 7, as far as story, but gameplay style, yeah, it's going to be similar, for sure. Fabian, to the younger generation, you've merely adopted the video games. I was raised by them, molded by them. I like it. Yeah, man, my generation, we were molded by, like, Shit like Contra and Battletoads. All those unforgiving ass games that the game journalists don't like now. Those games weren't balanced or designed well. Yeah, they were. They were fine. <laughs> That's just how video games were back then. Uh, where do I go? I don't like this chap. Like, everything looks the same. Everything's just dark and grimy and it's not clear, like, what you can climb on and... and, and what you can do. I feel like everything's so dark around here. And I'm scared to jump anywhere because I feel like it's going to be like an automatic death. What's one thing you hope to see and not see in Resident Evil 8? What I don't want to see is just a repeat of the monsters in 7, which we're, um, I mean, that's not what it's going to be. That's what I don't want to see. I also don't want to see Chris being a villain, which I also don't believe that's what we're going to see either. But I do want to see more of Chris in the actual story. Like, I, I don't... I understand they're trying to move away from, like, the big main characters and, like, you know, going to Ethan a bit more. I just never really cared about Ethan, you know? <laughs> but I think... I think that Ethan has a lot more connections to the overall story than we're being led to believe because he's just a regular guy and he's getting into these situations nah he's gonna play a more important role
This all looks the same. This is the other room I was in. Those are real fucking games. Literally just everything about them was building our brains for complex situations. It's true, though. Yeah, like, those games really, like, they forced you to... I, I know some people, a lot of people that aren't good at video games don't like hearing the line, get good. But one thing I, one thing you gotta understand, like, where did that line come from? Like, that, that was a result of, like, what games used to be. Back then, that's how games were designed in mind. Like, you played them, and if, if you didn't learn them or improve with them, like, you just weren't gonna win. <laughs> like, that's how it was back in the day. So that, that's how, um, that, you know, that's how I grew up in video games. That, that's why I enjoy playing hard games, because that, that's, that's really how I grew up playing games. Like, you, you learn them, and get good at them, and then you succeed and play another game. Are we still lost? No. Well, I don't know, Goblin. Maybe. I, I'm not lost in the uh, original area I was lost in, but now we've gone to a, a higher level, I guess. But if you fall at all, you, you end up back down there, and then you got to climb all the way back up again. So now I'm back where I was trying to figure out where I'm supposed to go. And I'm trying to look for all these little clues, like anything that's gold. Oh, let me not fall. Oh, God. <sighs> <sighs> okay, what can I climb? What the fuck can I climb? You grew up in the time of Mario teaches typing. My god, I remember that. Anyone remember the typing of the dead? That was awesome. It's House of the Dead, but instead of like shooting with a, 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 a light gun, you were shooting by pressing keyboard buttons in a rhythm. It was awesome. Oh, here we are. Okay, here we go. Follow the golden blankets. God. <laughs> no more of this level. I had my hopes up for a new Silent Hill game at the conference. I want that more than any other title. Don't hold your breath. I don't mean that in a negative way. I'm just saying don't expect that. I, I wouldn't expect that at all. I, I just don't think Konami's interested. It'd be a nice surprise. I just don't think it's going to happen. <laughs> when it's maybe not lost. When a game doesn't force me to be lost because everything looks the same color. That's when. I overheard them talk. Something about an old man. look. You know what? I get it. Part of your long story, right? Look, the roads on the other side. All that gold does not glitter. Not all who wander are lost. Help me find my amulet. Once the coast is clear, I will tell you everything. Been asking Fabian to stream that game for months. Wait, what game? Miss what you said. There's going to be a Ubisoft live stream. Are you going to stream it? Um, I, when is it again? I want to stream it because it's definitely going to have a lot of Assassin's Creed stuff. Yeah, when is it scheduled for? Chapter 8. I never liked the climbing Uncharted. Always die a lot. There's a, you always die accidentally at some point. Oh, Mario teaches typing. <laughs> I should stream that sometime. I need to. That'd be fun. I, I should do that. I should stream that and stream typing of the dead at the same, the same day. Here. One of my earliest game memories was the Ninja Gaiden. Yeah. Just wait NES there. or you talk Oh, Xbox. Okay. And Star Wars Clone Wars games. Clone Wars is a cool game. That's one I've had on my um, stream list for a while. And I've just never gotten around to it. Um, it this? works on my GameCube emulator. Puzzle completed. A pick. Archaeologists use pick. Yeah, I know what a pick is. Oh man, first Vita stream, let's go. Welcome, Michael. Yes, it is the first Vita stream of many. Well, probably not that many. There's not that many games on Street I want uh, Street yeah. on Vita I want to stream. Muramasa awesome. is one of them. I'll stream no, that. No. Uh Killzone Mercenary. Uh Resistance. Burning Skies and I think that's it. Uh, I don't have a whole lot of games on here that are not already on other consoles. Oh look, more areas that look the same. Where's headquarters are this way? Have you seen the movie Airplane? Hey, uh, oh, with um Leslie Nielsen. Sorry, I haven't seen. Yes, but we not in years. Look. Got it. That's a movie you have to like to really appreciate. You, you have to put yourself back in the time because it's just that slapstick comedy that a lot of people don't there. find. A lot of modern audiences don't find funny. Wait here. Playing this on Vita Amulet. Yeah, this is on a. Uh, on directly on the Vita through the USB. 
you have to jailbreak your um, Vita to be able to do it. USB does the video, and then a regular like headphone aux cable to PC. I'll send the audio over. Have you gotten to the part where you put the Vita into a bright light to see the map? Not yet. Which, how am I going to do? I'll have to use, I'll have to use like my phone screen. Oh, the flashlight on my phone I'll have to use. Because this room's kind of dark right now. Missing best Vita game, Persona 4. Uh, from what I heard, that's coming to PC. <laughs> so, not going to be a Vita game uh, exclusively anymore, it seems. Here we go. Wait, wait, I'm trying to collect that treasure. Hold on. Touch. Whatever the hell this is for. Yeah, I, I have, I've, I, I gotta look that up and see what those cards are for. I really have no idea. Show me your fit, bitch. Ubisoft forward, July 12th, 12 p.m. Okay. July... What day of the week is that? 9 p.m. So it's gonna be about. Mm. So it's gonna be about 3 p.m. My time. I'm, I'll have to. I'm gonna try to stream it. Um, I'll have to find. I'll have to ask my parents if they can watch my kids. Up this way. I definitely want to stream that. I, I'm heavily interested in what Ubisoft is is bringing to the table. The EA one I streamed just because I wanted to see Squadrons, but I, I didn't really care about anything else. My earliest gaming memory is trying to beat the Come first here. boss of Sonic Adventure 2 Battle hey, hey, Hero and Dark Side Stories on the GameCube. Oh, I, I like that game. I, the Dreamcast version was amazing. Okay. All right. okay. Although the GameCube cleaned it up a lot. I'm gonna boost you up. All right, see if you can get in through Did there. anyone ever play Path of Neo on PS2? Oh my god, Path of Neo, I remember that. Oh, I gotta see if that works on the emulator for PS2. I wanna stream that. That game was so cool. Good Another Lord. one that was good was Enter the Matrix. Uh, I had it on GameCube. It started, uh, I don't remember the names, Ghost and whoever hey, Jada Pinkett. Was it Jada Pinkett Smith? All right, hurry. Or was someone else? But be careful. I get it. Um, that game was two discs on the GameCube. I'll hope you'll stream Curse of the Moon too. I think I scheduled, did I not schedule the stream already? Maybe I didn't schedule it yet. I thought I did. Oh, I don't think it's public yet. I'm streaming it. I'm streaming it uh, the day of release. Friday, uh, July 10th. Yeah, I'll be streaming it. I was about to say, where the hell did my grenade go? Oh, -ho! oh no, 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 no. Oh. Get away, get away. Chass out of here. Who else wants some? You want some? Come here. Yeah, there you go. You can have that. Ghost and Naomi? I don't know. I, I know it was Ghost. I just don't remember her name. Maybe it was Naomi. Oh, you fucking dick! He's right- Oh! He just walked up to me and kicked me in the hip. Damn. When will you stream God Hand? I don't know. You know, I've never played God Hand. And um, it's funny because I had it. <laughs> I had it on PS2. Hello. That, that's how bad my backlog is. I had it on PS2 back in the day, and I never played it. I ended up trading it in forever ago, and I just never got around to playing it. I forgot there's like a grenade box right here. I was going to keep chucking them. It's unlimited. Hell yeah. Keep coming. Yeah, yeah, you wanted to fuck with me? I got grenades. I got a box right next to me, full of them. Here. <laughs> At least this will work towards my grenade kills. I don't know if I got the trophy yet. Yeah! Keep coming, bitches! Grenades! <laughs> Uncharted Special Forces. Oh man, no more grenades. I was having fun with the grenades. We're gonna kill you! Finally! There we go. In the beginning of the game where you last longer to unlock hardest mode, I thought it was so pro. I don't remember much about the game. I don't remember a lot of details, but I... Man, when The Matrix came out, like, like many people, you know, my age, when that movie came out, like... It, it was a movement. I mean, those movies, like, you were so excited 
for the next installment. I love the Matrix movies. Which, I, they're making them four. I don't... I don't know how I feel about... Like, do we really need another Matrix movie? I think the way it ended was fine. And by the way, if you haven't seen uh, the Animatrix, oh my god, it's so good. I love the Animatrix. My favorite, like, segment of that is the one where they actually show the war between humans and machines that happened. So damn good. So damn good. <laughs> ah! Okay, now they want me to do, like, all kinds of, like, hieroglyphics. Why do I have to do this? Just slice it. Okay. Wait. I'm doing it! I swear I'm doing it. I don't understand. Can I please use the joystick? I, I don't understand why it's not. Did it glitch? Do I not have my machete equipped? Maybe I don't have my machete equipped. Should we add touch controls to the list? Look, look, look. It, it's got the little diagram on here. I'm, I'm doing exactly, exactly what it wants me to do. Exactly. And it's not, it's not working. I don't know if I have to relaunch the, um, I don't know if I have to restart the checkpoint. I, I might have to. I don't. This you don't. This is what I mean by like all these console gimmicks. Just give me buttons and two joysticks. I'll be fine. Grenades. Ah. Uh, well, you know what? I got the grenades at least. It's <laughs> such bullshit. Come on. Is this the ending? No. There's 34 chapters. This is chapter like what? Seven? Eight? I don't even know. Seven or eight. Still got a little bit of ways to go. Light it on fire, fire helps. I feel like there's so many different ways I could I could reach that area versus playing a machete minigame. Normal control should always be an option. I completely agree. Like, what if your touchscreen's messed up on the console? Like, what if it, it happens? What if the touchscreen doesn't work? It's defective. But you can't play the game anymore? Like, my buttons still work. So what's the problem? Let me use my buttons. Right up to me, aren't you? Maybe not. Oh, the grenades are gone. Yeah, he's walking right up to me. There. 30 kills without aiming. Alright. <laughs> let, let, let's see if this works now. Who knows? It works when it wants to. Would you get lost? Well, it's not like they keep boxes of ropes by every window, you know. Hey, wait! You gotta wait for me. Wait a minute. I already checked this room. Remember? It's clear. See? I am learning. Did this happen? Just hope you don't learn the hard way. What? Did that happen before? <laughs> I'm so confused. Jeez. That didn't happen before. I think it did glitch out on me. Surprise, surprise touch buttons. See, now it's working. I don't think, no, yeah, it didn't happen. The game glitched on me. I think it's the second time. one of these. I know, you can't. This game is designed by Ben Studio, the ones who made Days Gone. Yes. offices are in the loft above the garage. Which I haven't played yet. I need to download it. I saw it was on sale really cheap the other day. I don't know if it still is, though. 
correction, Mega Man X9, or did they do 9? No, there was no Mega... The Mega Man X... Uh, wait a minute. Yeah, 8. Mega Man X8 was the last main Mega Man X entry. Mega Man 11 was the last classic one. Alright, Chapter 9. So, yeah, we could probably do... This might be a 3-streamer, because, what, about... Probably a little over 10 chapters a, a stream. Assuming I don't get lost or stuck like I did in this one. <laughs> and again, some chapters are really short and some are a little longer. So it kind of balances out. She's over here. I love this gun right here. Whoa, did you see him teleport? He like teleported from like left to right real quick. Man, I'm out. Hey. Be nice to fight grenades right now. Ah! Oh, thank you. I got him. Took 25 years for us to get streets to rage for it. It did. It took way too long. But they delivered. That's the important thing. Delivered a damn fine game. Which, by the way, I, I, I kind of wish I didn't order the limited run physical edition. I didn't know. Like, I've never ordered limited run myself. Um, I didn't know how long it took. Like, they do it sometime after the game comes out. But, like, I ordered the physical edition of Streets of Rage, the PS4 one, with the Sega Genesis cape, uh, case forever ago. The game's already out. And also, I ordered the vinyl record, and it just, I haven't gotten anything. No communication, nothing. Like, I, I guess talking for, to other people that have oh, ordered shit. from them before, that's kind of like, you know, standard operating procedure, but like, I don't know. I, I, I probably won't order from them again because of that. I don't, I don't know. I, I don't like buying something like that and then waiting so long after release to get it. It kind of takes, it kind of takes the excitement out of it a little bit, you know? I don't know how I feel about that. Oh, you motherfucker, I was reloading. I have to look at my screen to reload. Stop it. Where you at? Show your face. Oh, no, now he's doing the disappearing act. Thinks he's Houdini now. Hey, there. there you are. Burn hell, cargo shorts. Whoa! Yeah, I love the shooting mechanics in uh, Uncharted in general. They work so well. Oh, look, look, look. We got another cargo shorts over here. I think. Oh, no, he's got pants. Come on, keep moving. Even though I'm a PlayStation hey, gamer, I just recently played Zero Horizon Zero Dawn. Such a great game. I'm currently working through it still. Um, I just pick, I just started playing it again the other week, like two weeks ago, after the trailer for the second one. Because I bought Zero Dawn when it first came out, played it for like a week, uh, non-stop, and then Breath of the Wild came out, and I, I didn't touch Horizon until like now. <laughs> so it, it's definitely um, in my backlog. What? Oh, you mother... He just walked right up to me. He did not give a shit. He just walked right up to me and whooped me. Wow. Are you going to buy PlayStation 5 when that comes out? Yeah, um, I'm putting money aside slowly, like every paycheck, to uh, get that and the Xbox Series X. I want both of them. Which, for what I do on the channel, I mean, I kind of have to get both. Even though I want them anyways. That way I can cover games without any restrictions. How's the crushing difficulty in this one compared to console games? Um, I think this one's significantly easier than the console games. I haven't had too much trouble with combat. Or some of the console ones, you can die over and over and over. But yeah, in this one, it's, it's actually not bad at all. I actually forgot that it was on crushing for some of it. Limited and Run always takes many months to release. Yeah, see, I didn't know that. Because, I, I, I mean, I didn't read any of the fine print or anything. I just ordered it. But, like, I didn't know how long it actually took. That's, that's why, in retrospect, I, I probably wouldn't have done it. I would have just forgotten it and just gotten the digital game. Or that other physical edition that came out on Amazon, too, that looked really cool. That there was a big uh, thing over. Oh, 
<laughs> the dumbass. There you go. Keep moving. I've always, I've always questioned what's the difference between the Mega Man main series and the X series. They're two completely different ones. Uh, you've We're got Mega Man, up these stairs. which is in retrospect, it's the past, um, and then Mega Man X, which is the future version of the Mega Man. Like, it, I guess if you follow the timeline. The Mega Man X series is chronologically a sequel to Mega Man. It's a different Mega Man, a different robot, years in the future, uh, with a different situation. So, the original Mega Man still happened in the past of the X series. Which, I still, I have my own theory, though. My theory is that he's a repurposed classic Mega Man, but a lot of canon police have a problem with that. I like that theory. That's what I go by. The canon police, a lot of them like to tell me that um, hey, this is it's it. been confirmed this is of X's origins, and or it's been confirmed what happened with Mega Man. Oh, locked. And a lot of people have the assumption that Zero killed him. Capcom has actually gone on record right. deconfirming that. Like that's not what Just happened with Classic Mega Man. Officially, they've yeah. never okay. explained what happened to Classic Mega Man. They've never explained the gap. It just has not happened. Anything you hear is a fan theory, including my own damn theory. <laughs> so. No, there's nothing official. There's no explanation. So he could be... He could very well be a repurposed classic Mega Man. He would still be a different robot. So it would still fall within what Capcom says. <laughs> that open. Yeah. I still think Uncharted 2 is the hardest on crushing. There's a lot of places where it gets super hard. Four had some really bad areas in crushing. Uh, there's one in particular that I always bring up where it's near the end of the game and there's a bunch of old pirate ships that are like half sunken and it's just a gauntlet of enemies coming at you. That part, I swear to God, took me an entire day of dying nonstop to get past it on crushing. Four had some moments. Mega Man timeline? Yeah, I've been wanting to do it forever. I've actually, I've started work on it, but I, I kind of have it on the back burner. Because um, I'm doing Zelda first, and I'm focusing very much on Halloween content. Um, I don't know. This year is kind of a test run with the whole Halloween thing. I don't know if I'm going to do it again next year where it's like a billion pieces of content that month. Um, this year is more of an experiment, so we'll see how it goes. But the, the, the challenge of doing that is that I have to keep up with the regular content that I want to do on top of working on stuff that I'm not going to show you guys for like three or four months. Chase. What is all this? So, oh, God, I don't know. It, it takes a lot of my current projects. I could be doing a lot more than I want to Max. now if I wasn't working on the Halloween Reverse. stuff. So, we'll see how Halloween Reverse. goes this year. The entire field office. Come on. We have to gather as much as I had to cheat on crushing it for. I hated it. You want to know why we're not partners? What? Why? Gathering all this took years. If I'm correct, the timeline is Mega Man X, Zero, ZX, Final Legends. Yeah, that's exactly that's it's exactly correct, actually. Long story. Nate, look. Remember, you were the one who asked me to trust you. Okay. Okay, you're right. I'm sorry. It's just that things have been a little crazy around here. Things are always crazy. But I'm flying blind here. This is my grandfather. It's in I like when you actually start exploring, like, the mystery ruins and all that. Twenty years ago, the mining company discovered all of this. The gravesite, the ruins. The IOA was called in, and my grandfather ran the dig site. The explanation is it's a video game. That is also true. He found the amulet. He tried for twenty years to figure out what it meant. What happened? He ran out of time. Last year, he was diagnosed with terminal cancer. You know what I like about these Uncharted games? How, like, all these, like, mythical Crazy things, story. like... In the story, you get real invested yeah, in well, following the clues, just like Nathan's doing during the story. He was desperate. Like, I, I've always loved that about these games. You just, you're interested in, like, oh, where's the clue going to take me next? You know, someone who could deal with Guero. Dante. They've done that very well. And then three months later, he, he just vanished. He, he disappeared. You don't think it was Dante, do you? No, he's, Dante's a lot of things, but he's no murderer. A thief, yes. Look, all I know is Dante took over the entire operation, and then he just... Nintendo's letting me down so much, they keep their classic stuff behind a subscription service. 
those games would get played more in their new just because he has I don't like the Nintendo Online. I got it just because it was cheap. I say we grab as kind of stuff as we can carry and get the hell out of here. It does make it easier for me to record retro games, though. I just plug it into my capture card and I'm good to go. Okay, the maps are too big to carry, so. Um, but the selection's so small, too. Nathan Drake, world famous photographer. <laughs> Who knew? Friend of Dante's would turn out to be a nice guy. Yeah, just they might as well just give him a Vita nice instead of a camera. Since they make you use those gimmicks anyways. Oh, so I wasn't supposed to have the camera yet. I, don't, I think that's when you get it in the story. But since I already beat the game, I already have it. My amulet's gotta be here somewhere. Keep looking. You'll find it. I can't believe Dante gave all this to Guero. I can. Dante will do anything if there's money in it. Sounds like ah. the boy's ah. experience. Well, you know. Not anything. So what do I do? Hey, you take all those map photos yet? Got some comments here. Game could be depressing, especially the crystal and whole memory wipe thing. Wait, what game are you talking about? Oh, Final Fantasy Type Zero? I've never played that. I actually have no idea what that is. How's that photo coming? You find the map? I'm working on it. I'm trying to get up here. Oh, wait, there's something. I don't think that's what I'm looking for. There's the map. Is that the map I'm looking for? I think I have to take a photo of it, yeah. Target photo. Okay. Gotta get the lamppost out of the way. Hey, do they have to be in focus? No, I'm just kidding. Okay, I got it, I think. Also, Zero is unlockable in Blade War. Oh, in Onimusha Blade Warriors? <laughs> that means Onimusha confirmed in the Mega Man timeline. That's out of control. That's going too deep. What the hell else, man? I'm just looking for stuff that'll like light up all my little touch icons. Do I want to go down there? Search this chat. Oh, these are the extra things. What's one theory you like that isn't confirmed? As in what? Like for what? You talking about Mega Man or just anything? Zoom times six point two. I have to like to move the the zoom up and down. I have to like tilt the. Oh, I could use the back touch screen. There, I got it. There. I think that's I had all to get it, like, perfect Great. and get the little check mark. One of us got something. Isn't that Proto Man from Battle Network and Blade Warriors and not Zero? I have no idea. They're very distinctly two different it's characters, though. My amulet! It's gone! But wait, just look around. I mean, Goro must have a safe. Probably in this locked room. You know what this game kind of needs in these parts? It needs, like, Batman Detective Vision. <laughs> Where you just... Oh, there's a I safe. Here. Hey. Hey, this is with Guero's papers. You think it might be the combination? 
Well, if his security is in the same condition... Type-0 is a really sad game. You have four nation, one nation Star War for resources. You also have 14 playable characters. And Why is it sad, though? Because huh. they kill each other? Or? Very good. And I already solved this puzzle, so check mark. Maybe Dr. Light bases Dino's robots on lost Oni technology since they had flying ships in Oni Busha too. I don't know what I would have done if And then Resident Evil's linked also because they're in the remake on a poster. Someone's coming. Whoa! I'm going. So we get a new Pokemon Snap. How weird is it that Nintendo got two fatal frame games? Before PlayStation got a sequel, right? I'm streaming Pokemon Snap the day it comes out. I'm so pumped for that game. Pokemon Snap was my jam on the N64. Anyone old enough to remember going to Blockbuster with your memory card and putting it in the Snap machine? They had Pokemon Snap machines at Blockbuster video, and uh, it would print stickers. I don't remember if you had to pay for it or if it was free, but it would print sticker a sticker sheet a, a, a sticker sheet of all your photos, and then you could like stick them on wherever you want. I was hooked. Maybe we don't need them after all. It was awesome. It's very strange. Earlier you were singing a different song. Yeah, yeah, I, I know. Responsible citizen, know. welcome. Hear me out here. I mean, half your compound is on fire, right? Drake's a gaming theory? I like the Mega Man one I told you yeah, about. That's my years. gaming theory Ready, right there. That's that's my um, that's my go-to theory. Continue. Yeah, all I was when does this game take place in Uncharted timeline? This is a prequel to the whole series. This is the first one chronologically. Is the Pokemon Snap Switch game a sequel remake or the N64 game? It's it's Pokemon Snap 2, basically. Damn, I got lit up. Um, it's Pokemon Snap 2, although that's not what it's called. It is a sequel. Damn it. Yeah, come on, man. How are you going to start me off, like, right here without any... There's no defense. Like, all I can do is immediately start firing back. Watch any Mega Man anime? Um, the original American cartoon, which is amazing. Super fighting robot. Mega Man! Oh, fuck, I'm dead. I was trying to get a headshot and I missed. He got me, he got me. I wonder, you know what? I'm going to try to climb down as fast as possible and hide behind that crate. Oh, I can't even climb while they're shooting me. Oh, no, no. See, you have to immediately just start firing back. That's insane. Fuck. All right. Please. Please. It doesn't even give you time. It doesn't give you time to, like, breathe. My lord. The game's tragedy from beginning to end, and now imagine this. You have this crystal that makes you forget your buddy when they die. So why not just get rid of the crystal? It was like a permanent thing. Can I hit circle to just leave or go up? I'm trying to find a way to cheese this, and I don't I don't think there's a way to cheese it. Surprised you haven't streamed Max Payne. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I love Max Payne. Uh, I never finished three, so I'll start with one when I stream it. I'll tell you, if I, I streamed everything, I... Like, I wish... If I wasn't creating content also on the side, like, I would love to stream, like, like, five days a week. You know, I would love to. But if I did that, I would never have time to work on anything else. Like, if I was just a streamer full-time and nothing else, like, I would get to so many more games that I want to. But I like creating content too much also. Oh, you son of a bitch! Come on, it was just that one dude left. So I gotta get those two headshots and then take out that dude. The fact we didn't get a Pokemon Snap for Wii U is a tragedy. I've been saying that since the Wii U came out. The Wii U was a perfect console for a Pokemon Snap sequel. Like, you have a damn tablet screen. But yeah, I guess you could do it on Switch too, because you have a screen, but... I mean, come on. Like, you can, you can move it around like a camera and everything. Son of a bitch. Die. Die. No more. No more. Oh, thank you. Okay. See, that part was all about just pure survival. Max Payne was a fun game played on PC. I loved it because it was like Punisher's always been one of my favorite combo characters of all time. That game is basically the Punisher. <laughs> it's Rockstar's Punisher, basically. 
Max Payne 2 was good too. I started 3. I remember I got some nightclub or something. And then I it just kind of went in my backlog. No! Oh, I made the mistake of stopping. Bullshit. You're the guy with the awesome 40 minute Mortal Kombat timelines in the Resident Evil stuff? Yes, that would be me. Which tomorrow, I at some point, I will be uploading the history of Kano. Which is going to be a fairly long one. Kano was involved in everything in Mortal Kombat. Like, Kano's always there in the background trying to screw someone over and get rich. Max Payne 3 is a brutally hard game. There's sections of the game that may pull my hair out. Um, 1 and 2 had some really hard sections too, though. Like, those games were never really easy. Do you think they'll make a fourth one? I don't know, because that I know of, I don't, I don't think that the third one did that well. And look how long that one took to make. Like, that, was, that one took a while. <laughs> Shit! Is he in every game? Uh, Kano is not. It's easier to tell you what game he's not in. He is not in Mortal Kombat Deception. Because he gets his ass kicked by Movado and Death of the Alliance and captured. He is not in Deception. Um, and Mortal Kombat 4. That's about it. I believe. Two. I mean, he wasn't playable in 2 either, but he was in the game. But, uh, yeah. Deception 4. I believe that's it. Man, this part is stupid. This is so stupid. I mean, t Kano practically is in Mortal Kombat 4. He's just called Jarek. He's just Kano. He's exactly Kano. I hate you. I hate you so much. So much I hate. So much hate for you. Only two games. Yeah, Kano. It, I mean, even... Oh, well, Sub-Zero. He's not in Sub-Zero. He is in Mortal Kombat Special Forces. As the final boss. <laughs> what a boss. What kind of bullshit checkpoint is this? Holy shit. Instead, MK4 Jarek, who was part of Jax's best ending. Absolutely. This is not a brutality. This is a fatality. It's so stupid. I'm going to take out the dude on the right first. Over and over in this part. Oh, thank you. I, I think I did it. Oh, fuck. He's still alive. Woo! Now I gotta deal with the other guys on the ladder. Let me reload. I gotta hit the corner. Alright. I think I'm ready now. This part sucks, man. Outstanding. King Finito, welcome to the channel. Thank you for subscribing. I can see your subscri subscriptions popping up now. Because I'm staring at the desktop screen. Instead of the console. Oh no! Let me let me uh, get my health back. MK4 is a masterpiece. Changed my mind. Uh, it has not aged well. <laughs> it was good at the time. Kano's always been a jerk, which is what makes him such an easy character to despise. That's the strength of a villain. If a character makes you hate him or her, then he he or she did the job. That's how I feel about Kano. A lot of people in the poll were like, oh, who cares about Kano? Although he got voted number one. But it's true. Like, if you hate Kano, like, well, yeah, you're supposed to. The guy's an absolute scumbag. Like, that's his thing. He's a bad guy because he loves being evil. Like, he's unapologetically bad. Otero, what's up, man? Have to do some portfolio stuff right now. Just wanted to swing by. Hit the like button. Can't wait to rewatch this. Awesome, man. I appreciate you swinging by. Hey, when are you streaming again? I'll jump into your stream next time because I've, I've got some editing to do and I need something to watch. 
<laughs> oh, I f got oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get attacked for sure. I'm gonna get attacked for sure. Watch. Oh fuck! Bring back harakiris. I never liked the harakiris because I could never do them. They never worked for me. <laughs> Jerry, I'm so gay. <laughs> yep, that's what it sounds like. See, I knew I was gonna get attacked. I was ready for it. It was, it was too obvious. It was gonna happen. I hate you so much. I hate you. Kano's an Australian Nikolai. I talk about that uh, in, in my um, video, which there is so much more. You sons of bitches. <gasps> I can't believe they checkpointed me there. But there is so much more to that Australian accent than you think <laughs> in the history of Kano. It's kind of funny, actually. He has more interesting backstory in terms of his development than the actual game story. Oh my god. Alright. This part's awful. Awful. Maybe tomorrow I want to do some portfolio stuff live. Try and use this bump and views right now. Take my advantage. It's awesome, man. I'm glad to see your channel growing. Which I, I love how there's larger creators that try to discourage people from starting channels by saying that it's impossible to grow on YouTube. That's complete bullshit. Otero Studios here. His channel's growing. My buddy Checkpoints. In half a month, that dude grew from 6,000 to over 10,000 subs. <laughs> just now, and he's still growing, so... It's just... It's not true. Hard work and dedication is what's required, and you can grow. Anyone can. Shit, my channel's still growing. I'm no one special. I'm truly no one special. <laughs> and channels grow. I mean, you just gotta work. Two hours, this might be two hours later. <laughs> Shadow, I'll give you that one. Cyrax, I'm human again, even though his entire body's still mechanical. His personality. All right, let, let me try this. Can I, ooh, can I headshot him here? Is it gonna register? I don't know if it's gonna register that. Oh, it did! I can shoot through this! As long as your cursor is aiming at their head, it counts. <laughs> Alright. Hey, hey, pop your head back up. Come on, asshole. Oh! <laughs> yeah! Um, I need to get a different gun, though. I'm not gonna have enough bullets in this. This channel's too special. It's a good source of laughs and entertainment. I appreciate that, Ryan. Yeah, we just try to have a fun time here. Not take things too seriously. Like the cannon police do. Um, oh, how am I going to do this? I, I have this little... Oh, oh, hell yeah. Oh, you fucked with the wrong Nathan Drake. Unless, of course, I missed my shot. I have five bullets in here, which is nothing. <laughs> so, let's see. Oh, God. Baby Master of Lore now, cheese. Or er, chess? <laughs> Jeez. Oh, God. From one video, it was crazy. Oh, actually, uh, Tara, I don't know if you noticed. He's uh, He's got a second video now that's starting to collect a ton of views. So, there's a second video that people kind of filter to and really like. So, yeah, it, it's definitely good for him. It's, it's good growth. Probably going to last another month or two easily. Speaking of canon police, how they react to the City of the Dead Chapter 2. Oh, let me tell you. So the thing I, I get the most, there's always one thing they, they pick out. And it's not always the canon police. A lot of times people trying to get clarification. But one thing they they, they um uh, always pick out now in the comment section that I see frequently. I actually have a copy and paste response ready. Because I keep saying the same thing. <gasps> is that in that version... Um, I have the survivor from Outbreak, Dr. Hamilton is the one that lives and for for a specific story reason. And everyone else stays behind because that's one of the bad endings of the game that I went with because I thought it was a little more dramatic. But, uh, as many people know, uh, the reporter character, Alyssa Ashcroft, uh, you find something from her in, fuck, in Resident Evil 7. So, it's confirmed that she survives. Um, in canon, they all survived. 
but I have to keep explaining that it's not meant to be a canon representation of the story. It's an alternate take, and in part one, I specifically mentioned some things are going to conflict with later chapters. So I have to keep re-explaining that over and over again. Um, that That's the thing they keep picking out now. And, it, I mean, if you really want to nitpick, I mean, Nikolai also dies in Resident Evil 3 Remake. They, they killed him in that. But in Code Veronica they reveal that he did survive. He wrote a whole report on the Raccoon City incident. He lived. Um, so yeah, like I said, there's some things are just going to conflict. That's that's how I designed it. I, I didn't really take those things into account. I just wanted to make an alternate entertaining take that had some dramatic flair. Okay, now i got to turn around. How do I turn around? Up? Down? I you got to enter the Konami code to turn around on these pipes. How do you people do it? I'm still trying to break the 10 view curse. I mean, you could write a book on that. I, every channel is going to be different. But, I mean, keep in mind, that there was a point where I was getting... I mean, you guys remember, for those of you that have been long-time watchers of these streams, look, right now we have 76 people. At one point, we broke over 100. There was a point in my channel when, when I started streaming where I was streaming for like half a year to 10 or 15 viewers the whole time, and that was a lot to me. So, I mean, you got to start somewhere. You know, it, it takes longer. <clears throat> it sometimes takes longer for some channels than others, and that's all right. You know, you just got to have fun with what you're doing and, and keep it up consistently and kind of market yourself online, make connections with other creators, other people, yeah, make genuine friendships. It, it all works together. Outside, you son of a bitch. Chase. Nice. Soma turns there. into Dracula and is killed by Julius Belmont is the canon ending. Change my mind. That's my favorite ending. Although that's not the official Konami one. Oh, people were mad about that. But it's like, when I did that in the, the second Castlevania timeline, but it's like, well, I already did the other ending in the original Castlevania timeline. Like, why am I going to make the same video again? Like, the whole point was to do it differently. And the games give you the multiple endings for a reason. I mean, they're, they're there. So I used them. I love the sniping. I don't know if it's going to register that hit. Oh, it did. Don't kill her. Oh, geez, move. Shit. Oh my god. Where are these guys coming from? It keep, I'm not even sure why it keeps zooming in and out on its own. I'm not doing that. And I turned off the motion control, so I'm not entirely sure. Ah! Okay, got him. Hey, look out. Oh, there's a bunch of them over here. Oh! Aiming at me. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, you son of a bitch. Ah! Oh, is one guy left? I remember when you were only getting 20 people in here. Yeah, and it was like that for... When I was streaming, <coughs> I'd argue it was like that for Why are you half a year to a year. I mean, I mean, for a long time it was like that. Are you kidding me? Just gotta appreciate everyone that comes in here and just have a good time. But try not to worry about things I can't control. You can't control how many people decide to come in and watch you, you know? That's up to you guys if you decide to, you know, hang out here and spend your time watching. Don't shoot! No. You fuck! Damn it, no! That was the last guy left. He shot her as I shot him. Man! That's bull. That that was That should not have happened. Literally the last dude left. Come on. She couldn't survive? Like she couldn't just hide behind a box until I was done? I've been hiding behind boxes since I started the damn game. And I've been doing just fine. Oh great, now I'm missing. Because I'm getting shot at. I'm worried if I don't kill them quick, she's gonna get hit. I do like that when you snipe them, it doesn't matter what part of the body you hit. They uh they die right away.
to like someone rejecting Dracula's canon and that they accomplished Thousand Year War mission of ending Dracula forever. See, and you know what the magic of that is? That the game has multiple endings, so you can just go with one you like. I like the bad ending because it it, it goes back to the idea of Castlevania 3 that started everything. You know, you, you get a Belmont to Belnades and uh, Alucard working together again. And no, Julius no. mode is only available for the bad ending. Like, it only flows with the bad ending. And to me, it's a destiny thing. Like, the Belmonts are fated to fight Dracula forever. that That's oh, no. a lot of the story idea, stopping? you know, of destiny, and, and that just goes right back to it. That's why I like it, but I understand why some people don't like it, but that's why multiple endings are a good thing. And whether it's canon or not, I mean, kind of doesn't matter because there's no other game that takes place after it, for Konami to say. Yeah, I know there's some kind of novel, but I, I don't even count that. For me to count it, it's got to be a video game. Okay, can you survive now? Are, are you alive? Are you gonna stay alive? All right, she's alive. Okay. Yeah. Oh, thanks. One thing Fabian does read comments. Yeah, it becomes. Still think that I used to read them every single day. Um, to be honest, it's become quite unmanageable to do that. So I understand why some huge YouTubers just don't bother. I like keeping up comments, so I always try to take. Usually, what I do is this: whenever I post a video, I'll spend the rest of that day reading comments and responding. So I, I try to do it like every couple days. I'll go through and just answer on the screen. But yeah, I don't. I never see myself getting to the point where I just completely stop ignoring them because I, I personally I hate that. It completely takes the um, interaction between the creator and audience away. I, I don't. I don't like that. There's a novel set after Dawn of Sorrow. Yeah, there's a novel where they work together with Selma again. Japan only. You won't find it in the U.S. But that I don't even count it. Oh, good. I don't have to do that section again. How am I supposed to do that? They're lighting me up, though. Gotta be weird being at Belmont, meeting Dracula for the first time. You know of him, and he hates your guts, but for you, it's not even personal. It's a job. Yeah, I'd just be like, listen, dude. I, I'm, I'm, I'll go home. I have nothing to do with you. I, I got no beef with you. My family doesn't like you, though. So it's like, you might want to watch out for one of my sisters or brothers or cousins. <laughs> so I wasn't supposed to fight them. Did it glitch on me again? Because I wasn't supposed to shoot. This cutscene didn't happen. Ah! Yeah! This reminds me of an annoying sniping section. Well, too annoying. In Max Payne 3, on the hardest difficulty, they're unforgiving and you have no room for error. I gotta play that game. Play it again. I see a lot of it's a hard choice, but Castlevania 3 might be my favorite. Um, that's my second favorite. That's my favorite uh, NES one out of the, the three of them on there. Um, that's my second favorite of all time. My favorite of all time is Rondo of Blood. But Dracula's Curse, it's, it's a damn perfect game. I love it. It took everything that the original Castlevania did and just did more of it and better. You think Dracula would make a whip resistant clothing? You know, okay, here's the thing. <laughs> Why didn't Dracula come back in, I, let, let's say Portrait of Ruin, right? Why didn't Dracula, it was World War II. You know, j just get like a machine gun. Have one of your servants bring you a machine gun from like the battlefield of World War II. Just fill it up with bullets. <laughs> and then when Jonathan Morris pops up with his damn whip that he just powered up to the max because he, he broke a... Because he defeated the, the, the memory of Richter. He whips out the whip, and then Dracula, just out of nowhere, whips out a machine gun. Just lights him up right there. What is he going to do with that whip at that point? Dracula, he, he that's why he loses. He didn't think. He didn't think. The year 2035, wherever, where Donasar and Arya take place. When, when um... Oh, well, I guess Dracula wasn't in that. But he was dead. But still. Why, why not do that? You know, surprise him with a machine gun. Or, or go the Resident Evil route. Have one of your one of your minions bring you a, a freaking rocket launcher, an RPG. Second they whip out that whip, boom, <laughs> done. What are you gonna do with that whip, bitch? <laughs> See, there's solutions for Dracula. He lost because he chose to lose. I know camp police are still livid, mad from Final Fantasy VII remake, and now no one knows what's gonna happen. What would happen to Aerith and Ares live till the end of this reimagining? I think that's what they're gonna do. Um, I want it to be very different, and I think that's exactly what Square is doing. They're trying to make it as different as possible. Which, I'm going to argue the same thing I said about the Resident Evil 3 remake in its defense. 
Why make a, re a reimagining? Not a remake. Why make a reimagining if you're just going to make the same exact game again? If you're doing something more than just remastering the graphics, go crazy. I'm okay with that. <laughs> I like that. Because you're still... The original game still is available for you to play. No one's taking it from you. And you also have this new experience inspired by it. Dracula should just acquire a nuke. Yeah, Dracula needs to start making deals with Kano and the Black Dragon Clan. That's what Kotal Khan and all kinds of other people in our world do all the time. Son of a bitch. Come on. Go put in a drink. Dracula could have made his dark version of the Vampire Killer similar to Gabriel's Blood Whip. I liked Gabriel's Blood Whip. That was cool. Which, by the way, I've been wanting to stream Lords of Shadow for a while. I made the thumbnail like six months ago. And I just haven't scheduled it. Christ, Drake, you know how much trouble we're in because of you? I mean, look at this place. And my boots? Jesus H. Christ. Your you boots? <laughs> Are you kidding He's me? He's still worried about his boots. You stole everything my grandfather worked for, and you, you just you gave it to Guerrero. Hey, hold on a goddamn minute. I Son of a bitch! Oh! Oh! Chase! Oh my God, Nate. I didn't mean to do that. I love how she shoved him in these, like, forest waters. He's his entire life. He'll be fine. He just got swept away by the currents. Talking about a boss whipping out a gun and just blasting you away reminds me of something Sekiro. Exactly. But you see how effective it is? Like those Tusken Raiders in that game? They, they just whip out the gun and they shoot you and you're dead instantly. It's like, okay, well, they, they got the right idea. I'm coming at them with a the sword full speed and they just whip out a shotgun blast. Were you okay that smoke didn't include the part... Oh, I read that as smoke. Remake didn't include the park watchtower norm. I, I kind of would. I, I don't mind that they didn't include the interior of the clock tower um, and the park because I always thought those were the most boring areas in the original. Um, so I suspect they did it for pacing reasons. However, I do wish that they would have included the worm in a different way. That's one thing I thought would have been cool. So I, I mix feelings on that, but just the overall areas, I don't care that they're not in there. Just because we have different areas. You have more time with Carlos in the hospital. They also have Nest 2. So there are new things in the game. But as far as the worm boss, yeah, they should have had the Grave Digger in there. That would have been a cool boss fight. How much longer are you going to stream? Probably like another 20 minutes or so. Then that'll be a good stopping point. Which, I know you guys make fun of me, but I'm going to say it again. I'm hungry. I always get hungry on these streams. Because I go for like, I usually eat something like half an hour before I stream, but then I stream for like four hours and by the end I'm like, fuck, I'm hungry. I just, I ran right off into the water. Dracula too classy to use guns. Hey, that's why he loot. I'm going to say what Kano says in, oh, what game was it? Hold on. I think it was 11. I don't remember now. In one of the games he says something along the lines of, um, one of the intros. He says something about, uh, there's no use fighting fair or something like that. I was trying to climb up there. Shoot a vibes. Thanks for two bucks, man. Did you want to see Brad get killed by the nemesis? Um, time to go. I, I didn't, I mean, not necessarily. I, I like the way, I kind of like the way he died in the remake better because it made him more of a heroic character. Um, and at the same time, it gave him a connection to Marvin, which was made up. Um, hold on, why? I can't climb. Do I have to press up and X or let? This is not letting me up properly. But yeah, Brad gets off by a Nemesis in the original. Um, I didn't mind that he did this one because, like I said, everyone, um, you know, Brad's the chicken of the team. He's the one that screwed them over in the first game. So him not getting killed by Nemesis kind of gave him a little moment of redemption in this one because he held the door for Jill, got got bit because of it. And then basically pushed her to escape on her own. Thanks. Um, shit. And then when Marvin popped up, he tried to bite Marvin, and you could see that they knew each other also. Because he was like on the verge of Brad about to turn, so he was still able to form some words. He said sorry, and then that that's what caused Marvin to kind of like hesitate to shoot him. So if Nemesis had showed up and just offed him, we wouldn't have had any of that. That's why I'm so open to them making changes. Sometimes it is better. It creates it creates a more dramatic version of events. I hate this shit when I don't have any cover. 
Okay, no I think idea. I'm healed up. Just following the river. Hey, something glittery on the path. Are you kidding me? She has something glittery on the path. I don't have time for the glitter. Hello. Ooh, All right, I got to touch screen this guy. Thanks. Touch screen. That's what slows me down there is when I have to stop and look at the touch screen to, to, hey. to hit him. Please. Oh my god. Nate, you want me to wait, Bobo? Damn. Time to go. I just had an amazing burrito. I will pay for it later. Oh, you're gonna get the rocket shits. <laughs> Ass rockets, if you will. Don't let that stop you. No, I won't. I wish they didn't have a touchscreen moment in the middle of this. Or you have to melee the enemy. That is if you know where I have to have my finger like ready on the middle of the screen. Just following the river. Hey, glittery on the top. Are you kidding me? Actually, I could just look at. I'm just gonna look at my Vita during this part. <laughs> that might be easier. Yeah, it's a lot easier because. There. Oh, I guess not. I pressed it and he still hit me first. Why can't I just press a button? Time to go. Why? Oops. Biggest oh, Ari's mystery is Jill's sudden hair change from brunette to blonde. That was actually because of the um the experiments that Wesker did on her. She that's how it's explained. It's like the pigmentation in her hair. Drained away, which is kind of a stupid explanation, but I mean I don't even feel they needed to explain that. It could be just something as simple as she dyed her hair. I mean, people dye their hair in real life all the time, you know? Especially females. Like, maybe she just wanted to be blonde, you know? This guy's all yours. That had him hurt. Okay, I knocked him out. More than me. Alright. Melee. You want me to wait? <laughs> Come on, man! It, see, it's these scripted events, these Time scripted events that have touch controls, that make it horrible. Oops, slippery. Look out. Ledge. Don't let that stop you. No, I won't. All right. Keep going. And there's no way to do this part without getting hurt either. Going. No idea. Just I'm just, I'm getting ready to melee attack. Hey. Can I stop somewhere and heal? Hello. My thumb's like slipping off the thumbstick too. Thanks. There. Alright. One more guy. One more touch screen guy, I should say. Oh god, I missed him. No! Did I make it? Oh, thank God! I I thought it killed me. Ah, crap! Son of a bitch! Senor Dante warned me that you would be trouble, more than you are worth. Anyone else notice how Chris is chunky and resin late? Hey, it happens when you age, man. I don't know what. He's plush size now. What was it that he said again? No, not four hours later. That you are a thief and a liar. The amulet belongs to my grandfather, not you. It was found here. This is our country. It belongs to us, not you. So it was found in his country. It automatically belongs to him. Is nine of the law. Ah. No? How about finders keepers? You know, it, it's funny. All these villains in Uncharted General, could easily I gun down Nathan Drake multiple times, and they don't. Like this cutscene. Could have gunned them down right there. When the box is open, even the most honorable is a thief. Just speak Spanish. See? Very <laughs> cool. You know, General, I think uh, you've been dealing with the wrong guy. This is Dante. He's, he's an idiot. Just elevated through Dante you under the bus. Wait, what are you doing? Stop Let it. go! It's not worth your life. So one thing I appreciate from Capcom remaking a classic game with new parts, but keeping it close to the OG source material. Yeah, and they did that with both Resident Evil 2 and 3. Like I said before, like a lot of people complained about Resident Evil. A lot of people complained that Resident Evil 3 remake only had one scenario, but 
I mean, aside from the fact that the original only did also, everyone praised. Everyone was everyone's praising. Uh, oh, oh, I have to tilt the controls. Everyone was praising Resident Evil 2 now for having two scenarios. Although, or for keeping the two scenarios. Although, when it came out, everyone complained that the two scenarios were too similar. Which they kind of are. So it's like, which is it? Are, are you praising it for having two or bashing it for being too similar? It's whatever fits the narrative at that current time of the media, though. Like, that, that tends to be what happens. That's why I kind of try to look at things objectively and try them out myself. And form an opinion based on that. I, I feel like I'm playing a Wii remote. Like, I'm just doing this. Can I use the joystick at all for this? No. Doesn't work. I have to tilt. Just like any James Bond movie where the villain explains his plot instead of killing Bond exactly. They waste so much damn time explaining things. Tilt! Alright. Tilted. How many times could the villains kill all action stars exactly? If they if they acted intelligently, we would have no movies or video games. Everyone would just be dead instantly. Most gamers don't seem to know what they want. Yeah, I, I a lot of people are like that, sadly. It, it's an effect of having the internet and social media, though. A lot of times, it's the big echo chamber where people just go on just to kind of validate their own opinions. I want to be done with this gimmicky section. I just want to shoot things. Claire and Jill need to interact and have a scene together. Yeah, that'd be cool. And you know, um, Claire knows Jill off screen too, but we never actually see that in game. Any idea how important that was? Yeah, I think she's close to her brother, and so she—I mean, she probably knows all the stars members. Think I do. Well, she definitely knew Barry. It was a trick. Yeah, this game's so good. Like, I want to keep going, but it's already getting late. See, that was a really short chapter. So you're really staying? Yeah, I'm not gonna let them push me out. Hey, you can't be pushed if you're walking away. Look, Marissa. It's Chase. Only my grandfather calls me Marissa. Fine, Chase. You know, you're not walking, you're running. Yeah, I tend to do that when an army of thugs is using me for target practice. Barry okay. is best resident right. protagonist. I love Barry. You have no idea. I would like to have a beer with Barry. Dante will cut his losses and move on, but Guero, he's gonna look for you until he finds you, until he finds this. Like By hungry, you're probably gonna eat ice cream, right? <laughs> that was last night. <laughs> I had the last we'll Oreo cookies and cream we had. Oh, so I see. You think it's all about the gold? It's always about the gold. Yeah, maybe for guys like you, and guys like Dante. But my grandfather? He spent decades. This game's got a good story too. I like his it. His neck in dirt, digging and, and scraping for the smallest clues. I wish Leon and Jill had interaction. Maybe Revelation sequel or Resident Evil Nine. That's what I wanted out of Resident Evil Eight. Um, that's not what we're getting. <laughs> but that's what I originally wanted. Famous archaeologist, discoverer of Troy. I wanted to rewrite history. It was never, ever about the money. Fine, it's not about the gold. Let me see that. Were you even they need to do to Resident Evil Revelations three, and it's a flashback between um. God, he found them. Code Veronica and Resident Evil. What are you talking about? Uh, Who found what? Three, where uh. Look familiar. Chris and Barry are investigating Europe. So that is canon. They were investigating Umbrella in Europe. They, they and match. We've never seen that in game. They have it in comic book form. Grandfather wasn't as blind as Dante thought. He kept it a secret. Even from me. Yeah, probably to protect you from dying. You came out to your stream. You yeah, have it kills on Shadowfall. Oh, I'm no, going to. Yeah, no, that was one of my um, early PS4 game. games. I love that game. No one was allowed in here but me. Set this I'm going to do kills on chronologically. Of course. That's where I've seen this before. The the Visigoth symbol. You see, the the Set de Sedades were an obscure religious order with roots going all the way back to the Visigoths. This is where all the mysteries start. Arianism. Arians? No, no, not like the Nazis. It's Arianism with an eye. You see, when Spain fell to the Moors in the 8th century, seven bishops supposedly sailed away, taking the riches of Spain with them. I like all the history stuff, too. They're said to have founded seven perfect cities. Portals to heaven. Where? <laughs> God only knows. Seven Literally. cities of gold. That's why the Sete Sedades were founded. Their entire order was dedicated to answering that question. Where? 
Okay, but what's all this got to do with our Spanish grave marker? Leon gonna hit on Jill. Leon's not gonna hit on Jill. That man is too obsessed with Ada Wong. Yeah, neither did the Spanish. He's never gonna See, get Ada. One of history's little jokes. The Spanish had a legend about seven cities filled with treasure. Now the Aztecs and the Mayans had a legend about a city of gold. When the two civilizations collided, the Spanish gravesite. The, the, the soldiers were looking for the seven cities of gold. Yeah, but they weren't. This alone. is kind of similar, isn't this kind of similar? To El Dorado. Isn't El Dorado supposed to be a city of gold too? Like in the actual legend. Maybe we can find out. Because that's what the original game was based off, the El Dorado that legend. Parchment is blank. In this game, is it's it? the seven cities of gold that each one's supposed to be a portal to heaven. Oh, this is the thing with the bright light. All right. Well, it, all right. I think I'm gonna have to use my phone flashlight probably. Hang on. All right. Yeah, it's just, I don't know if, oh yeah, you guys can see it on the screen. That's so cool. The you have to shine a light into the camera. It's sensitive to light. Exactly. All I have to do is find this is a, a light cool feature. bright enough to reveal all the symbols. Then you can use those symbols to translate the charcoal rubbing of the gravestone. There. See, there's at least uh, one cool gimmick. The sword of Stephen shall bear witness to our sacrifice in the chamber of the Seven Fathers. Seven fathers? What do you think that means? I don't know. But I'm guessing your grandfather did. It's all these little sparkling objects. You said he went missing a few weeks ago? Yeah, that's right. Well, and I was right. Dante didn't have anything to do with it. Wait, so you think... My grandfather translated the Pretty symbols. neat mechanic, yeah. And then I remember I was blown away by it when the Vita first came out. I was like, whoa, it could do that? The only thing that makes sense. But, like, if they ever emulated this console, how would an emulator handle that, you know? Secretly worship, study, bury their dead. I guess they can map it to, like, a button that makes us think that there's a light shining. I don't know. But it wouldn't be in Casca Vieja? No, no, the, the order was underground even then. There. That's got to be it. If we can find that retreat, we can and find One thing I like in uh, Tomb Raider and Underworld whoa, 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 is how uh, it has to do with Thor's hammer. You said I thought that was really cool. Yeah. I got to stream that too. I guess I did. You're going to help me. I guess I am. I guess I am. On one condition. Hey, anything. Partners. Partners. Now we travel. I wonder if it's going to be a whole new chapter now. Like, was that it for chapter 13? This is my grandfather's truck. Nate, he's here. When I had Wait, Thor Jesus, Hammer, it was a mistake giving weeks. me so yeah, much power. I know. I know, it's okay. It feels great holding sure? that power in your hands. I know why he didn't tell me. He came here alone because he, he knew he was never coming back. See, so far, episode 5 is my favorite so far in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. season 7. Yeah, I was watching it the other night and I fell asleep. <laughs> so I gotta watch it again. All right, chapter four. You saw how short chapter 13 was? It was that little section. Um, I think this is a good stopping point because we just started a whole new section. We're looking for the seven cities of gold, the portals to uh, heaven, which, of course, as in most Uncharted games, ends up being something totally different. Um, but, yeah, we'll cut it off there. So far, it was a... How do, how do you guys like the Vita stream? Thought it was cool? Like, I thought, um, I thought it was a lot of fun streaming from the Vita. Like, it doesn't even feel like I'm playing a handheld game, so I'm looking forward to, to stream more Vita games, I think. 